All right, let's see if anybody actually shows up to this thing. It's Monday morning. It's 9 a.m. Would have liked to get up a little bit earlier, but had to review for tomorrow's video. Anyway, uh, let's see if anybody actually shows up. <clears throat> Makes me feel like a total winner when I hit the, the start streaming button. I see zero viewers in here. That's awfully terrifying. Hmm. Okay, we got three people. Hooray. All right. Cool. How is everybody this morning? You know, I would have liked to get started here about an hour ago, but, you know, duty calls. Uh, we got a hell of a video coming out tomorrow. I'll tell you guys all about that in a sec. I'm just going to put this up on my uh, up on my socials. I'll just be with you in a moment. And, uh, yes, waiting for Facebook to load up. Hooray. Yay. Joy. All right. Here we go. Okay, and okay, Monday morning reviews. Okay, boom, boom. Cool. And just a sec. We're going to put this out on Twitter in just a sec as well. Uh, Metal Promotion Worldwide, Andy Sneap Forum. Here we go. So that's where that is. Done. Cool. All right, we got 10 people in here. 49. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? 51. Jeez. Okay, you guys were obviously waiting for this one. Morning, PPN. I'll go through the list here in a sec here. Like I said, I'm just tweeting some shit out and uh, getting some stuff out there. You guys want to share this with your friends. Uh, that would be really fucking cool. But we'll... Uh, okay, there we go. Done. That's been tweeted. Uh, yeah, okay. And it's great. I got a picture of Samus' face in my Twitter feed. Yikes. <sighs> anyway, how the hell is everybody this morning? Okay, let's see here. Hey, Humbucker Chronicles, yes, uh, and for all you guys who don't know, hey, Humbucker, you know what, here, uh, you get to be moderator today, why not, okay, there we go, Humbucker um, is helping me on scripts and shit, so hey, thanks, I uh, just got the first draft back for tomorrow's video, oh boy, is that one going to be a wicked one. 18 minutes of fucking, <laughs> oh boy. PC, D, PC, PC drum. Okay. Tortilla man has to take a dump. Thank you very much for sharing that vital information with us. Really appreciate it. All right. So yeah, it's going to go out here. Chops, Napes DKR, Nate Fields, um, Napes DRK, uh, Fred Rubin Johnson. Hey, Fred Rubin Johnson. How's it going? Silvano Schweister. Hey, Germany. Yep. The name like uh, Schweister. I would think so. Yes. Greetings from Canada. I can't wait to get back to Germany. I think I'm going to be there in August. Hmm. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, morning, uh, Kyle Nottingham, Jeremy White Sr., uh, Darren Jones, Vlad Jonas, PPM, uh, Billy Lunch Money. Hi from the UK. Hey, Billy Lunch Money. Uh, Jesse Miate. How am I doing today? Uh, not too bad. A little tired. Uh, just got my coffee here. Like I said, I was uh, Gilbert Spader. How's it going, uh, Gilbert? Chops from uh, Australia. Wow. Okay. Hey, I just watched the Fairburn, Fern, Fernville, the, the Fairburn Films video. Those guys are fucking hilarious. Why is everything so expensive, mate? Yeah, all that. I can't do an Australian accent for shit. So, okay, sorry. Uh, Rocco Brick, uh, Alcoustic. Hey, Alcoustic, how's it going? Uh, Salvador, I can't pronounce your last name. I guess uh, there are bangers. I guess there are, oh, yes. Those are probably last week's bangers. <sighs> Gorf, hey, you were one of my favorite video games in the 80s. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let me see here. Okay, I'll take off last week's bangers. Again, this is all a template I work from, so yeah. Been busy, you know, getting videos ready for you and shit. So, yeah, if you're wondering, oh, why is there your last week's bangers here? It's because I'm only fucking one person. Well, even that, I'm only one person. That works, too. Uh, yeah, marijuana. Yeah, that, that was really fucking, uh Whatever. Oh, that was really deep. Oh, geez. Hey. Hey, Vlad uh, Joldis, uh, thanks so much for the donation, but you got to do that through Streamlabs, brother, not through not through the YouTube donations. Uh, it's pretty fucking clear in the description about that. So, yeah. Uh, would love some tips on the mix, especially because you didn't send me a link either. You got to submit through the Streamlabs thing, and um, you got to give me a link to the actual fucking song. So nice try, Vlad Joldis. Nice try. <laughs> We've got somebody coming up here in just a sec. Uh, usually I wait till I get 100 people in here. So 
We're going to let that roll in just a fucking minute. Why is that not fucking working? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm still on battery power. Hold on, something's not right. Ah, there we go. There, West Coast Gray. He gets it. Thank you, West Coast Gray. Much appreciated. Let me go here. Uh, one damn second here. Wrong fucking button. And why did that not come up? Oh, there we go. Okay, wonderful. All right. Thank you, West Coast Gray. You're going to be up in just a second here. We're going to wait for like about 20 more people to get in here. So everybody hit the like button and whatnot. So, uh, you know, we can get we can get in there. So and anyway, uh, see, West Coast Gray sent me a Streamlabs donation and he sent me a working link to his song. So. Uh, hey, I was going to say, check it out. Uh, you guys made this happen. I got myself a MacBook Air for these streams. Uh, hopefully everything's going to run a whole lot smoother because of that. Um, it certainly uh, helped with the script uh, writing for tomorrow's episode. Um, I had Humbuck Humbucker over here a couple days ago and we were tweaking out tomorrow's... We were, we were tweaking out uh, tomorrow's video, and, uh, you know, we re really worked hard on the script, and it's 18 minutes of pure sarcastic glory. You're going to love it. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be, sorry about that. It's going to be only 77 people in here. Jesus Christ. It's going to be 11 reasons why modern metal vocals suck. And, uh, yeah, should be, uh, should be okay. Did the banger list disappear? Yeah, that was last week's banger list. So yes, somebody was bitching about that. All right. 78 people. Come on. We got to get up to a hundred people here. Share it. We need some people at 84. Here we go. We need 16 more people and I'll be more than happy to play this. Hey, clean us good. Morning, comments in. Come on, forgot where he came from. He's a Mac guy now. Hit him with sticks. <laughs> well, it's just because I travel a lot, and I know I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling this summer, and I need something that, A, won't crash on me, and B, won't be heavy as fuck. Don't get me wrong. I love my slick audio PC laptop. It's great, but it's very, very heavy, and it's loud, and it's hot, and it's just like, ugh. Have I tried a SSL interfaces? No, I'm not going to imagine they're any different from anything else out there because they're probably all using the same fucking chips. I probably should at some point just to see what they've got to offer, but I mean, it really just comes down to feature set, I think, at this point. I don't think anybody's really going to have a sonic advantage over the other. I mean, yeah. Uh, 84. Okay, you know what? we got to play a fucking song here in a sec. Come on, damn it. 82. Okay, fuck it. I'll just play some fucking music. Screw it. West Coast Gray, sorry for the diminished audience this morning. We've got 84 people in here. We need more. Maybe they'll come if they hear some fucking music being played. Symbols are a little harsh. It's like, did you boost some top end on there? Or it might be just some chatter. Yep. Okay, the drums seem to be panned over to the left. I'm not hearing any drums from the right speaker at all. Were you going for like a, a, a intentionally going for an old school 60s vibe there? I'm kind of curious. It's not a lot of kick drum there at all. It's like barely visible in the mix. Drums are really, 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 really harsh. This is uh, five and a half minutes, almost six minutes. So I'm going to question that right now. Why is this six minutes long? This one's a little tough to listen to, man. Okay, that's cool.
Say the sound almost sounds like this could have come off the Velvet Goldmine soundtrack near the end here. But it's just yeah, that that pan drum set is really hard on the ear. I mean, like by the time you're done listening to the end of the song, you're going to be partially deaf here because of all that top end going on. It's like don't boost the shit out of your top end on your room mic. It's just like we got all that fucking hash going on. It's really painful. Century Road official, thank you so much. Kill me now. Ouch. Wow. West Coast Gray, uh, I'd say, I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure what to do with that. Other than put your drums down the fucking center, please, for the love of Crom, and stop boosting the shit out of your top end. I mean, a little more kick drum would be nice. It doesn't even sound like it was mic'd. It sounds like you, you might have mic'd the drums. Um, you might, you know, maybe try doing like a two mic method. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. Uh, like I say, if you're going to use like Jin, Glenn John's mics or something like that, that's fine, but you got to get the kick drum mic'd as well. Um, you absolutely have to do that because there's no bottom end, you know, to root the fucking mix and there's nothing to drive the beat it's all just top end and harsh so it was kind of cool but i don't know uh maybe shorten it up a little bit because it's a little fucking long um and like i said a little bit difficult to listen to at some point um okay so next up we've got century road all righty there james naro you get the idea too okay james naro you're gonna be up right after century road so yes uh once again guys um i'm trying to see why the hell my fucking uh claude bot isn't working here and uh, it's starting to piss me off. And it's like, fuck, hang on. Oh, let me do something here. My Cloudbot's not because I got this t- handy little reminder thing and it seems to fucking stop. So, Humbucker Chronicles, I don't know. You might not be moderator uh, for long here. Uh, sorry, but uh, let me see. I need to fucking save that. Ah. And we're going to do that one more time. Community. Try this again. I'm going to try adding Streamlabs as a fucking moderator because it makes me do this every fucking week and it's a giant pain in the ass and it's just a little fucking reminders and shit come up. So hopefully this fucking comes up. All right. Yes, I would say uh, two minute, two, a two-minute song, a three-minute song would have been nicer. Four minutes probably would have been pushing it. Six minutes was excessive. Uh, maybe get to the point a little bit quicker. Again, it's not because we don't respect your artistic integrity. It's just, you know, there's so much out there you have to compete with now. So just remember that. I mean, like, you know, we can listen to your six-minute uh, epic or we could be on Pornhub. You know, I mean, like most guys are going to click Pornhub. Sorry. It's just, it's just the nature of the world these days. But it just seems like, you know, maybe a bit stronger vocal performance would help as well. And again, just a better drum recording would really help with that. Please see my series, How to Record Heavy Drums. All you got to do is type that into the search bar on YouTube and we're good to go. Now, you guys want to get your song reviewed? Yeah, click the link below. Send me a link. Send me a donation. I'll be more than happy to do it. Like I said, everything you, you guys send me just gets put right back into the show. I just got myself a new fucking MacBook Air to do this show with and to travel with and all that kind of cool stuff. So I really do appreciate that. Morning, Ziz. SAR Audio. Thank you very much. You're in You're in the... Uh, 
all that moaning at the end, you could listen to all that while on Pornhub. Ouch. Yeah, he's got a point, though. All right. Anyway, so, yeah, hopefully that can be of some help. But, uh, oh, wow, geez, Gian Martinez, thank you so much. And my fucking cloud bot still isn't working. Anyway, yeah, like I said, everything you guys put into this, um, I just throw back into the show. So, you know, like I said, this just uh, is a much more solid platform than the uh, Windows-based laptop I had. And it's not because of the hardware or anything wrong with slick audio. It's just it's fucking Windows, and, yeah, it's fucking Windows. So this is fucking quiet, and it works. That's what I need, especially when we're doing live. You guys have seen me deal with enough fucking crap and uh, over, over time. So anyway, let's check it out. Century Road. Oh, deep voice, deep voice guy. Wow. Thank you, man. We're in for a treat in a little bit. You see them burning. Look into my heart. Do you see it churning? This is my only solution. The final reset. I like those acoustics, man. That's nice. An exploding evolution. The Nice, nice work on the highs there. I feel the world collapsing into me. The pressure's building. The Harmonies, wow. For everything, it's pushing through me. But yeah, you could back off on the pitch creation a little bit. It's a little too perfect. Solution, the final resolution. The past is over I've gotta change My head to blaze The past is over Really good quality My only solution A fine Whoa! Tug Nog excellent <laughs> Damn, you guys fucking rule this morning Thank you so much The past is over Supernova is my only solution a final resolution Tug Nug, you'll be up next because you just jumped the queue oh, oh, over supernova gotta change my head to blaze the past is over I've gotta change my head to blaze the past so this is a really well thought out vocal. Beautiful acoustics. I'm gonna say just back off the auto tune a tiny bit. Or better yet, what I'd recommend is you know auto tune the living shit out of everything and then sing to the auto tune parts because at least you'll get you know you'll get that human strength. You know you'll you'll be. Um, hang on a sec here. Oh shit. What's going on here? Yeah yeah yeah. We're not playing that. Hang on. Yeah, that's yeah. That's the one thing about switching over to the Mac is it automatically goes to the next song, and I don't I don't know the Mac system well enough to keep it from doing that. So we all we almost got <laughs> we almost got Ellen Parsons there, but anyway. Still though, I think that was really great. As I was saying, you know, you can hear the auto tune a little bit. So what I'd I'd recommend is maybe take another crack at the vocals there. Um, and sing along to your pitch corrected ones. So that way it won't sound pitch correct. It'll sound like you're actually hitting the notes you want. But you've now laid out a map. You know what I mean? Try and match them the best you can, but you know, you still have those slight imperfections in there with, which makes you know music such so much more interesting to listen to. But dude, you fucking nailed the acoustic part. Like, holy shit, that sounded great. The layering, the fucking the harmonies, all that. That was really nice. Totally not my cup of tea at all, but Dude, seriously, for what you were going for, yeah, keep doing it, man. Seriously, that was really something else. Okay, so we had Tug Nug, excellent, uh, drop the thing. Uh, what is this, Gavin's ball bag? Okay, let's, uh, did we get this right? Highland Lights, okay. Gavin's ball bag. 
Okay, I'm, I'm I'm slightly terrified to play this one. All right, okay, don't say okay. Uh, sensitive ears alert. This one might be a little wild. Okay, lo- roll off your low frequencies on your heavy guitars. You can hear the fucking ninety hertz mud in there right there. Too much guitar on this side. You need to balance your guitars up. Definitely sounds like a very much older recording. Needs a little bit of uh, maybe some L1 across the mix. Oh, Josh Trotter, thanks very much. Gilbert, I'm just trying something here. You're not going to stay moderator for long. Sorry about that. I just need I just need to figure something out here for a minute. Okay, it sounds like you got the guitar on one side and the bass on the other. Again, for this, I would have liked to hear two guitars and maybe a bit better timing there. Remember, it's one, two, three, four, guys. Oh, you do have another guitar over there. Why is that one so much quieter? Okay, at least we can hear a guitar over here now. I don't know if putting it there was a good idea. That's pretty fucking harsh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what? I hate that. I gotta figure out how the hell do I stop this from the next song? Uh, preferences. Start, show, blah, 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 blah. Playback. Just a sec. Sound check. Oh, the song played by volume to the same level. No, we don't want to hear that. We want to hear the mastering here. That one was a little, that one was a little rough. Uh, I'm not. Oh, okay. Six, Lord of Hope for the Six. Thank you so much. Um, we've already got a pretty good cue this morning. So that one definitely sounds like a much older recording. Not sure what to make of it at this point, um, other than the fact that, you know, it was old and there was one guitar really pushed to the side. I mean, like, obviously the drum recording could have been a whole lot better. Um, give me a sec here. Um, advanced. Can I, can I stop fucking automatically update? How do we get, does anybody know how to get fucking um, Apple Music to stop playing the next song automatically? Whoa, Vladislav, you're in the queue too. Thank you so much. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was punk though. You know, that that's the thing about, about that song. It was punk rock. Sorry, I got 8 million things on the go. If anybody knows how to stop, you know, Apple Music from auto-playing the next fucking song, I'd love to know. Um, yes, get a PC. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Trolls Jerk. Really appreciate it. Yes, delete Apple Music. <laughs> Thanks, fuckers. You guys, you guys are amazing. Try using a hammer on Apple Music. It works for me. Wow, you guys are super fucking helpful this morning. Wow. Good thing you're not a bunch of... See you next Tuesdays. Fucking pricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to fucking just uh, get going here in a sec. All right, cool. We got a ton of tracks here. Wonderful. VLC player. Yeah, probably. Yes, throw it in the trash. Wow. 
I will say this, the thing works. I've had a couple crashes with my with my PC, so there you go. But once again, you guys uh, you guys made this happen, so now I've got a nice light and portable rig uh, that I can work with. I did some video editing with it last night. I was kind of blown away by just how well it worked uh, with DaVinci Resolve, so that's going to make my life on the road so much easier. You guys made that happen, and uh, for that, I am eternally fucking grateful. So there we go. Anyway, all right, so... Uh, Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we have that WeTransfer transfer thing. So this is this is satisfaction by uh, James Naro. Let's take a look here, James Naro. Okay, this is promising. That's a killer snare. Okay, thank you, Opera City. At least somebody's helpful. Yeah, we drink it on the moonshine. Try to get back on the right track. Don't no. ever back. Everything ain't always what you see. So don't take Thanks, Sophie. Definitely makes one of one a fucking uh, drive a tractor and fuck a family member, but yeah. Lead tone. It's a really good mix. I've got no problems with that. The vocals a little bit whiny. Everything ain't always what you see. She talks. A little less nasal. A little more for the all the all the all the see. You need to be there. This is really well played. Nice solid rhythm. I mean, yeah, love the snare. That's banging. There we go. I think I found the thing with Apple Music to keep it from fucking playing the next thing, or at least I managed to clear that list. So uh, thanks for the help for the one person out there. Appreciate that. But notice the machine has not crashed or given me any real problems, which is kind of fucking cool. Um, again, yeah, that was a great fucking mix. I've got no problem with that other than, you know, maybe a bit more from the chest and a little mess in the tap in, you know, because uh, that was kind of cool. But honestly, you know what? That uh, had far more in, you know, melody and catchiness than I've heard in a lot of gent stuff as of late, so good for you guys. Um, that was a little country, but it was a little bit rock and roll as well. Donnie and Marie would be proud! Killer, though. Killer fucking snare, though. I, there was probably a sample in there, but I gotta admit, it sounded fucking good. Uh, yeah, that really sounded good. So, James Naro, nice job, dude. Like, seriously, I don't know who, who mixed that, if you did or whatnot, but that was, a, that was a killer fucking mix. Don't change anything other than, you know, fucking wait for the singer's balls to drop. Just a thought. 
Oh, oh, you have no much means of me. Oh, you, no, dude, you're well on your way. That was a really, really great mix. I mean, seriously, that just worked. It worked well. Um, and again, I've got no problem with like country rock, that kind of shit. I'm like, rock. you got to remember, rock and roll was a mixture of country and blues. It was its own thing. So, you know, if you swing a little bit to the countryside, that's fine. Uh, my dad played a lot of that shit in the early 70s, like Eagles and whatnot. So, yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, it's fine. And again, we, you know, on this show, we welcome all kinds of music, not just metal, uh, because it's fun. And, um, and, uh, I like hearing different things. We've had funk on here. We've had R and B, we've had rap, we've had all kinds of shit. Um, if it's done with passion, it doesn't fucking matter the genre as far as I'm concerned. I just want to hear, you know, what are you doing and what, what, what's your mix sound like? That was cool. And again, I think that was a good fucking example of a great fucking mix there. Uh, next up, we've got Exodex White Knuckle Blackout with an official music video. Let's see. Hopefully nobody cuts themselves with this one. We're going to watch the video. Let's. Hey, greetings, Daniel Paulson. Uh, yeah. Your police force sucks. <laughs> Why? Why is it tax season? Okay, that's not annoying. It's like, okay, start, is the song going to fucking start anytime soon? 40 seconds and we still haven't heard the fucking song. Intro core. Yes, that's a good one. Running with the taxes. Yep, there we go. White knuckle black. Well, we already know that part. It said that in the fucking title of the music video. That's why we clicked on it. <laughs> okay. Ah, minute 22 seconds. Finally, we get to hear the band. Sorry, this is not Michael Jackson's Thriller. This is a couple of your buddies. Ying Frank, thank you so much. You're up next, brother. Oh, you guys are going to love tomorrow's video. Guitar sounds great. The vocal's a good le level. Yeah. I mean, like, if you're going for, you know, standard modern metal mix, yeah, you guys are definitely checking off all the boxes. Snare might be a little bit, I don't know, not a huge fan of that, but I mean, like, yeah, not much to say about this one. It sounds great. Snare's a little thin, I don't know, a little artificial. Right, because there's no way a real drummer played this. Maybe the drums are missing a bit of the top end there. You know, they seem like a, you know, a lot of guys really boost the top and whatnot on the drums. These are very, very dull sounds. Oh, Coffee Space Music. Thank you.
I like the fact that I can hear the bass guitar very well in this mix. That's one thing I'd say about your actual music videos. Get more close-ups on the instruments and the band and that kind of stuff because the one wide shot, you know, and, you know, you go from wide shot to wide shot to wide shot, that doesn't work so well. We need to see some extreme close-ups on the instruments. We want to see the strings moving. We want to see the, you know, the sticks impacting on the cymbals, that kind of stuff, just to break it up a little bit, you know, because let's be honest, you guys aren't very intimidating from a wide angle. Other than that, not bad. So that's that's my comment on the music video. Anyway, the uh, the the uh, the, the you, you sitting in the room there with your buddies. Okay, that worked, I guess. Uh, but I mean, like, yeah, um, it took you guys a little while, to, a little too long to get into the fucking song. I'm sure you could have uh, set that up to go a little bit smoother. I mean, once again, you're competing with so much media out there right now. You can't fucking afford to waste people's time. Um, yeah, I'm looking on this. You've had this out since October the 15th of last year. You've only had 1,200 views. And that might, there might be a reason for that because you spend too much time fucking around. And again, we don't need a title screen telling us in the, you know, ha, you know, a minute in what the video is. We already know that because we clicked on the fucking video. It says right down here, Exodus, white, not called black, out visual. You know, the, the, it's just basically somebody explained this and I thought this was a great analogy. It's like you're going to a restaurant, you want to, you want to order food and the waiter is giving you a five minute spiel about the steak. It's like, motherfucker, we already know this part. Get to the fucking point. That's the point. The wor worst thing you can do, Martin Scorsese did the, said this the best, is the worst thing you can do is tell the audience something they already know. Anyway, okay, moving on. Sorry sorry to be harsh there. So uh, we got uh, Deep Voice Guy. Satisfying end. Let's, uh, let's hit it up. Let's see what Deep Voice Guy has to say. Uh, we got a video. We got... Kicks a little loud. But that is a real drummer. Yeah, I was going to say, the other video was way better than this one. This is you got and dotted now, too far gone she is. This is the way out. And one more time she breaks another ball or two. Kick drum's a little bit clicky, too over clicky. I want to hear a bit more bottom end. Want more twang on the bass, more attack. Toms are buried there. Turn them up. We need to hear them. Those should be cannons there. Do, 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 do. Deep voice guy, were you opera trained? She's picking him up, but he's brought to his knees. She's destroying his bicep core. No help available for what he needs. His problems are simply fun and games. She will break the man if only for the thrill. Stops are conflicting inside between the noose and the bill. Yeah, the kick's really up front, but the snare seems to be buried behind some reverb or something like that. It's like really unbalanced, unfortunately. Yeah, again, that kick's just kind of overpowering everything here. 
So when you got those long kick kick drum runs, you want to drop those down by a couple decibels so they don't overpower the mix. It's not too hard to do. Just get into your automation there and drop them down two, two to three dBs and see what works. You want to just pull it back enough so you can still hear it, but without it being overpowered. And again, this is just something you got to practice on. Oh, Diary of Madness, thank you so much. Love the uh, green speed screen effects there, deep voice guy. That's hilarious. Oh, Shyster03, sorry you're in the hospital, dude. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, make you laugh. You're going to really like tomorrow's video. All right, there we go, deep voice guy. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like what you heard here and you want to check out more, I got a 10 song record called Let's Get Started. It's my first solo record, and it's available everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, etc. all the good stuff. Feel free to check out more videos on my YouTube channel. We really appreciate the support. Subscribe, like, comment, and big shout out to my buddy Brett. He played the drums on this record. He's an incredible drummer and a session musician. Subscribe to his YouTube channel down below. Feel free to hit him up. The dude is a talented musician that uh, offers session tracks. So if you need some sick drum tracks, you know where to go. Thanks so much for all the love and support. Really appreciate it. Feel free to like, comment, share this video around, and do all. Oh fuck sakes! Okay, how long is this going on for? Jeez! All right, all right, all right. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. He'll come to your house and kick your ass. All right, all right. Deep voice guy, always a pleasure to have you on there. Like I said, my big concern there was a little bit of unbalance with the uh, with the kick and the snare. Um, the kick seemed to be overpowering the snare. Like I said, a little bit of automation would be okay. Guitars were okay, could maybe come up just a touch. Uh, at least I want to hear more snap on the bass too as well. Make sure you're using some kind of an SSL bus compressor on your mix. Um, That'll just kind of help glue things together a little bit more uh, as well. All right, uh, Atlas Cube. I've had these this sitting in my queue since, like, before I even started this fucking thing. Um, oh, shit, I need to log into Spotify. Hold on a fucking second here. And, yep, there we go. Yeah, Atlas Cube fucking donated a while ago. So, anyway, here we go. Uh, Atlas Cube, this is The Fugitive. Let's give it a spin. Let's see what he's got here. Holy fucking drum machine. Guitars are nice. Well, those drums are faker than a stripper's tits. Are we getting just an instrumental here? Yeah, you get the ghost notes coming through, that's fine. Make sure you're rolling off your bottom end on your solo there. You know, your, your lead guitars don't need a shit ton of bottom end in there. Drums are a little bright as well. They're very, very, very snappy. They're almost piercing, and that, that might that's a little painful. Yeah, I like those low notes. That was cool. That gave it a bit of a uh, little bit of dynamics there. That was nice. Red Horn, thank you very much. Yay! 
Jin Fring, you're up next, dude. That was uh, Alice Cube with The Fugitive. Um, guitars were a little bright. Drums were really bright. That tells me you might have a monitoring issue there. Uh, I'm maybe mixing on headphones there. Maybe some actual monitors would be a big help with a little bit of treatment in the room because it just seemed a little bit on the bright side. Once again, this is something like Gulf Foss can help you out, uh, get an overall better mastering EQ, or in uh, what I've been using a lot is Ozone, where you can actually lift an EQ curve off an album that you like and just apply it Um to your mix. I think that works really well in a lot of ways. Okay, we I promised Ian Frank he'd be, he'd be up next because uh, he paid to jump the queue. Hold on a second here. Make sure this is working. Yep, okay. There we go. Uh, this is uh, Uncle Dunk with Weird Paper. When it feels like playing. I was going to say yes. Um, everybody who's donating, thank you oh so much. You guys, uh, you guys absolutely fucking rock. Um, I really do appreciate you, um, you know, your donations and all that kind of stuff. Like that allowed me to get this and run the show off it and uh, not have to worry about it. And it's silent as death. And I can edit video with this. It's going to make my life on the road so much easier. So I'm, you know, I'm basically whatever you guys are donating, I'm just putting back into the show in terms of upgrading, you know, cameras, equipment, bus. Plus, it also allows me to give people jobs, editors, script writers, that kind of thing. Um, I worked with a, worked very closely with a script writer over the last couple of days, um, last week actually, and uh, we've got a hell of a video coming out tomorrow. I think you guys are going to really like it. It's eleven reasons why modern metal vocals suck. Anyway, okay, we've got weed, weird paper by Uncle Doug. Let's get going here. More in a weapon against evil. I, I don't know. I'm not really feeling anything. Me either. Me either. Me either. Okay, I'm guessing I know what the weird paper is. What's happening? All right, it's time to get down. We need to get some glow sticks and run around the room. Slipknot has his rave pants on, and who knows how long they're going to stay on, though. Ah, Raise Divide, thank you very much. Fortunately, we do have some metal coming up. Just for the record, I have no idea how to judge a mix like this. Seems very effective. Seems to hit across all frequencies quite well. Oh, got something playing in the background there. Sorry about that. Whoop. Hang on. I don't know. I'm not really. That almost kind of worked, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Are those real drums? Yes, those are definitely played by a human. Ugh. Dragon Brabantic. No, no, it's not. We should start a band. <laughs> Rule number one, if you're good at something, don't do it for free. West Coast Great, thank you very much. I'll play another track there in a minute. Takes me back to my... <laughs> Slipknot says takes him back to his crack cocaine days. Okay, hey, whatever. Rocker, rocker, records. Thank you very much. You're going to be in the queue very shortly. Yes, we did. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. 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 Yeah, it's like five minutes long. It is does kind of seem to feel like it's forever, doesn't it? Hey, Hugo! Uh, apparently we're checking out uh, some rave shit this morning. Doesn't have enough ideas to be five minutes long. Hey, Saul Goodman, you're, you're forgetting the audience, okay? Uh, usually the people listening to this shit are stoned out of their brains on E, so five minutes you know, feels like 30 seconds probably. So there is that. I mean, like, you know, again, know your audience. That's fine. Um, I thought it was a really good mix. Honestly, I thought it worked great. And, um, you know, for what it is, it's, it's absolutely fine. I'm sure this fucking would probably get a dance floor hopping pretty well. Uh, but again, we're, we're doing, like I said, I, I like hearing a lot of different genres. So you know what? That's fine. Um, it's not all metal all the time because I'm hearing all metal all the time and it gets fucking kind of boring. Um, especially a lot of new shit. Like I said, you're going to love tomorrow's video. 11 reasons why modern metal vocals suck. Um, yeah, that one, I didn't pull any punches. It's probably the funniest video I've done in a very long time. Actually, I'm kind of upset that a lot of you guys didn't watch uh, Chucky the Tonewood Squirrel yesterday on YouTube Shorts. Because uh, that was funny as shit, too. But uh, for whatever reason, you guys didn't uh, you guys didn't fucking uh, watch. No, I don't look bored. I look like I need a coffee. So hopefully I can find a longer track here in a minute. And uh, we can take a... Take a as Echoes Divide, 328. Okay, fuck it. Let's play it. But I really need a fucking coffee. Uh, let's, uh, let's give this a spin as echoes divide. Come on, done. Georgie Dobry, thank you very much. Oh, nice old school thrash vibe here. Yeah, let's go. Definitely an old school thrash vibe. It sounds like you just boosted the crap out of the top end on the kick drum with an EQ and didn't bother to put a flam slam pad there. Alan Gonzalez, thank you very much. That vocal needs a lot of work, though. Okay, you got the screaming part down, but the, the singing does not work. Little pitchy there. I'd say this needs about three or probably about four tracks, I'd say. Maybe five. One down the center and maybe four. One, two, three, four. Just kind of layered in underneath to give it some more depth. Okay, somebody needs to go see Chris Lipe. Yeah, the uh, the actual sung part really leaves something to be desired, unfortunately.
No, the kick drum doesn't need to come down. It just needs to be recorded better, honestly. That snare's a little piffy as well. Guitars are a little buried, actually. They could use a little bit more top end. Why is this hi-hat so much louder than the snare drum? That's that's a question I want to ask. Answered. Again, we need a low low frequency roll off on the lead guitar here because it's very muddy sounding. You know, if you you can take a lead guitar, dump everything below 200 hertz on it, and you're not going to miss anything because you already got enough of that information in all the other instruments. Oh, Streamlabs finally makes an appearance. Great, hooray! Thank you, uh, Pure Jade Kid, for uh, subscribing. I don't know why Cloudbot's not working. Yeah, those vocals you're really struggling for, man. Ouch. You got the screaming part down, but the the other part really needs some work, unfortunately. Great thing is we can actually hear the bass guitar. Okay, uh, yeah, that one obviously needs a lot of work. Um, I'm not sure how well the guitars were recorded. I mean, like, they're kind of missing a bit of snap, too. They're a little dark sounding. Um, there's just, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'd say go check out my videos, how to record heavy drums, and watch out um, for your drum recording there. Again, uh, get a flam slam on the kick and use a plastic or a rubber beater. That's going to give you the snap you're looking for without having to go for EQ. Make sure you're using a good kick mic, too. Don't cheap out there. Um, Audix D6 is like 200 bucks. And it's going to give you the sound you're looking for without pro any problems whatsoever. So there, there we go. Maybe the amped roots might give you a better guitar sound, but most of all, the biggest problem with that mix is the sung vocal because the guy is straining and he's outside his range he's trying to sound like somebody he's not and it's like dude you need to work to your strengths look at lemmy somebody like that there's a guy who worked to his strength he wasn't trying to fucking strain up and be something he wasn't and it sounds like your your, your singer is just at the very top of his range and can't fucking maintain any power there so he probably needs a serious rethink on what he can do that was the biggest problem with that whole mix. I mean, you, if the if the vocals are okay, you can forgive a lot, but unfortunately, the vocals weren't okay on that. All right, moving on. We got Jonathan Linton with Chicken Pot Pie. Um, bouncing. Whoa, geez. Okay, so now here's a guy who can sing. Here we go. What's a flam slam pad for? Um, it goes on your kick drum. Uh, it's like a it's a Kevlar pad. It goes it's an impact pad and it helps generate a click sound. Um, and once again, you know EQ isn't going to give you the sounds you want. You got to actually have the sound you know happening. So when you when you hit your kick drum, it not only has the boom, it has the tick. And it gives it that definition. So like a, a plastic beater with a flam slam pad can sound very very good. It's a super easy fix that a lot of fucking drummers are just too dense to figure out on their own. When you were young, bouncing through. Oh, okay. This is the weird Al Yankee pick version. Great. Oh, I am getting copyright protected today. Pick a chicken base dish. A chicken dish, a chicken dish, a chicken. Good luck, James Seeley. With all this fancy restaurant food that you partake in. I was just gonna gonna say Weird Al Yankovic wanted to do this song, and Paul McCartney said no because he's a vegan. So, uh, hey, Paul McCartney, suck it. My chicken pot pie. Oh no, the drums are too small here. This needs to be huge. Chicken pot pie. Josh Trotter, I don't know. I've got about 15 people on the list. You're somewhere in there. Oh, Dave Dodson Project. You're going to be played in a bit.
Get a real drummer here. A secret crust fat is crucial. Fresh chicken meat is too for it to come out well. Uh, John, again, it sounds like you're kind of straining here. Yeah, it needs some chugs. I would agree. Burr Black has a point. This needs some judge, 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 judge. Needs to be a little bit more rock and roll here, I think. Arthur John. You used to pick a chicken based dish. A chicken dish, a chicken dish, a chicken dish. With all this fancy restaurant food. You partake in, you're still dying to chat. My chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. A little bit of reverb on those toms, man. Ba boom, ba boom. We need big crashing shit here. This is a tick, 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 tick. You got chicken, yeah, we got chicken. You go for chicken pot pie, we got Kentucky Fried Chicken boxes for toms. Uh, bedroom Jamesh, thank you very much. A little bit of reverb on the snare, too, like a gated snare reverb. This song has to sound huge, and it sounds very, very, very small, unfortunately. Not too bad, but again, it should have a chugging guitar in there, too. Like, rock it up a bit, man. Ja, 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 ja. We need some of that, you know, not just me, 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 me. You know, it's got to have some fucking, uh, you gotta, it's got to sound bigger, man. Like, Live and Let Die, you got to remember, was a James Bond theme song. You know what I mean? That was huge by definition. And if you want to you wanna fucking, you know, be in, taken seriously in that in that league, it has to sound big. And unfortunately, that did not sound big. Um, so, yeah, it, that could have been so much more. I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest with you. Um, I could You could have had a lot more fun with that one. It's, like, like I said, think drum reverbs on that. Get something big going. Uh, that's what That's what I want to hear, anyway. I want to hear fucking huge. Uh, Highland Lights, Gavin Ballbag. Did we already hear this one? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. There we go. Done. Okay. Yeah, we already did hear that one. So that was Gavin's ball bag. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next up, we got Bad Girl Official Video by Garden of Eden. Great. Is this going to get my channel taken down? I'm seeing fishnets here. This could be fun. This could be horrible. Hopefully, that's not a dude. Not a dude. Yep, she's bad because she's smoking. You want to make somebody look bad, you gotta put put a cigarette in their mouth. Come on back, my Cadillac has got room for two. This is actually a really cool mix. That's a killer vocal, actually. You can't show that on fucking music videos anymore. The fun police will uh, will will fucking cancel you. She's bad because she's drinking. Get us from the bottle. Who does that shit? Hybrid party does that. Like fucking stellar vocal though. All right, we might have found our first banger of the day, actually. Which one of y'all's girl? Cletus asks, which one of y'all's girlfriend is this? Yeah, that's a good. Good point. Yeah, this harkens back to the days when being in a band could actually get you a girlfriend.
Oh, you guys are from Nashville, right on. I love Nashville. Oh, I guess it's his girlfriend. I think they were, what, going to play Tiddlywinks after or something like that? Oh, she's still on. You stop pointing that fucking camera at me! <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, so that was obviously his his uh, girlfriend. So that was uh, uh, Garden of Eden with Bad Bad Girl. This has been up since 2019. August 6, 2019, it's only had 67 views. Like, what, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, what's going on there? Uh, that was killer. Uh, killer track, guys. I'm writing that down. So there we go. Very cool. Holy shit. Uh, that's going in tonight's bangers. Today's bangers. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that was a really nice mix. I don't have anything to add to that other than, you know, it's kind of a crime that uh, that hasn't been shared out more. So there we go. Uh, song 5-5, five, five, video 7 out of 5. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. Good job, guys. One second. Alrighty then. Okay, just uh, see if I can get my cloud bot going here. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to do the timers today. I don't fucking get it. Um. Okay. Anyway. Uh Let's hear. Uh, Jean Carlos says, "Bad girl." Until she has a night like the woman in Prodigy, smack my bitch up. I'm not impressed. Joke. It's a good song. Good feel. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Anyway. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, just hit up there. Okay, VM, my metal mix for re review. This is uh, Vladislav Martinezov. Here we go, Vladislav. Oh, nice guitars. Some of them might be a tiny bit harsh. Sound. Fuck, that's cool. Nah, I, th I think this mix is fucking right on, right where it needs to be. I'm not finding much to complain about this at all. Symbols might be a tiny bit on the harsh side. You've been praying. Thank you so much. See you, Gilbert. Bing Frank, uh, you didn't send a link to the second one there, dude.
easy is for me to spot a V30 in a mix? That's a good fucking question, man. I don't know. How long do these streams usually go? I'm probably going for another hour and a half at least. Maybe. Okay, as long as you guys keep throwing songs at me, I'll keep playing them. Yeah, this uh, this is a killer mix. Okay, uh, this was uh, Vladislav Martinosov. Vlad, uh, dude, great fucking mix. Uh, not too much to say other than damn. Um, the only thing I'd say is just please make sure when you're exporting an MP3 that you export it at the highest bit rate possible so when you put it up on your streaming site, we don't get artifacting in the symbols. I'm thinking that's what I might have been hearing, actually. It's just some artifacting there. So make sure uh, you're if you can't upload a WAV file, at least export the MP3 as a, as 300, uh, 360 kilohertz or whatever it is, or 320, whatever the highest fucking sample rate you can get for your MP3 because that's going to help you a, a, a lot. In the end. All right, next up, uh, we've got uh, Jake uh, Killalia with uh, Susando Playthrough. And we got another video. I like the guitar sound. I think uh, a little bit of fucking ozone on this would be cool. Get it up to an appropriate volume level. Sounds like you got a bit of a, either an effect on your vocal that's giving some comb filtering or you, you're recording your vocal in a really bad room. Turn the kick up as well. Yeah, the kick drum definitely needs a little bit more weight to it. You know, maybe a fucking Solomon low frequency mic would help there, give it some bottom end, but it definitely needs to come up in the mix. Oh, yeah, there's your problem right there. You put fucking packing blankets on the walls or on the drummer of dude. That is like the dumbest, most horrible fucking thing you can do for your drummer. All it's going to do is going to absorb all the top frequencies and it's going to leave the bottom frequencies bouncing around in and out of phase and cause you all kinds of problems with your mix. That's why you don't put packing blankets on your wall in your drum room. Because you're going to have all kinds of low end problems like we're hearing right now. So I would recommend putting in some actual bass traps instead of packing blankets. Uh, I've got a video on how to build them. You can build them for about 40 bucks each. You're probably going to need maybe eight. And you're going to get far better results. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a neat fade out where you take the top end out. That's that's kind of fucking unique, actually. Not too bad. Um, again, this is uh oh wow, look at this. Okay. Sorry, Young Eyes by Slow End, featuring members of Confessor. Okay, we'll we'll get to that in a sec. Um, wasn't a half bad mix, like I said, you might want to rethink your drum room. <laughs> Ooh. 
All right, yeah, yeah. Rethink your drum room a little bit. Like I said, build some bass traps, put those up in your corners. You're going to get way better results than that. And then maybe you just want to put some, uh, you know, two by sixes um, up along your walls just to kind of, you know, and angle them just to break up the top end reflections and all that kind of stuff. Because right now you're basically adding a giant, you know, high frequency roll off uh, to your room, and that's not helping you at all. Anyway, uh, Y'all are fucking ducking your subs to the kick, yeah. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Ying and Frang, like I said, if you haven't, if you did want to send me a second link there, um, email me. Go to my About page, go to Business Inquiries, send me a link to your song plus a screenshot of your receipt, That so that way I know it's you. Anyway, uh, let's moving on here. Young Eyes, here we go. Bye, slow. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. That is a cool fucking vocal. Josh Trotter, thank you very much. You're going in the very long queue right now. Robert Plant vocal. It's a little much on the cymbals though. I want to hear a bit more shells. Like where's the kick drum? Is it in there somewhere? No, no it's not. This needs a fucking bass drum. Who forgot to bite the kick drum? Seriously. And that leads a little berry. It's so like, why is the hi-hat louder than the lead guitar here? I like the groove, though. It's very, 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 you know... Black Sabbath meets Led Zeppelin. But you do have a killer vocal, no question about it. And the toms! Where's the fucking toms? I heard tick, 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 tick. I want big, booming cannons. Whiskey Dago Foxtrot. Okay. If you guys use Glenn Johns on this, you should be using the, you know, for drum mics, you should be using the absolute best fucking mics you can get your hands on. And you need a good room. Because right now, all we're hearing is top end on the drum. There's no, there's no shell depth at all. That snare's just a little tick. The toms are non-existent and the bass drum's no, non-existent. So that's the biggest problem with this mix right here. An epic track like this needs fucking cannon. And we got pots and pans. Yeah, that was a fucking cool track, though. So that was Young Eyes by Slow End featuring members of Confessor. 
Uh, yeah, that would be cool. I think that was a banger, but it, again, it needs some fucking work on the drum mix. That it would be a track I wouldn't be would mind uh, remixing. Actually, you guys should get hold of me there through my about page, and uh, let's see if I can get my hands on the tracks because I'd love to see if I could remix that. It depends on you know if you mic the drums correctly or not. Um, yeah, the vocals do fucking rock, and uh, that was really cool. But again, the drums just fucking totally left it flat. Gr- the great vocal helps huge though. You can get away with a shittier drum mix with a great fucking vocal. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Skull Crusher Studios. Uh, really do appreciate that. Once again, you guys are uh, making my dreams come true here with all this stuff, and I'm more than happy to fucking give you guys some reviews and put you all on here. So, um, yeah, we had a lot of 35s here, so I'm just kind of going through there. So all you guys who donated 35, you're up first, and then uh, the rest of you cheap bastards, you're going to be up last. That's just how it goes. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, uh, once again, all your donations, because my fucking Streamlabs thing isn't fucking uh, giving it right now. So all your donations do. Um, they allow me to hire people. They allow me to hire editors and script writers and that kind of thing. We've got a hell of an episode coming for you. Tomorrow it's called 11 Reasons Why Modern Metal Vocals Suck. Um, it's probably my nastiest video I've done in quite a while. And I said, fuck it with the copyright protection. I'm going to do this fucking video because it needs to be fucking made and I need to show examples. So you guys made that video possible. And for that, I am absolutely fucking grateful for that. Uh, cause I can just say, okay, fuck the copyright. I don't need to make money off that video. This fucking, I can do it with this right here with mixed reviews. So you guys made that possible. I really appreciate that. Uh, once again, you guys, uh, you guys helped me get this. And that's making a much smoother show this morning instead of fucking around with Windows. Um, so, so I really, really, really fucking uh, really appreciate it, guys. Um, and then again, like I said, I'm able to hire people and I'm going to be able to get another camera here uh, pretty fucking soon. So I really do appreciate all of that. And uh, you guys fucking rock. So don't think I'm just fucking pocketing the cash. Basically, everything you guys send me is just getting put right back into the show. And for that, I am ever so fucking grateful. I originally tried doing that with Patreon. This seems to be a much more effective way of doing it. So here we are. Uh, let's. I'm gonna throw that in the list of today's bangers because I thought that was great. Uh, Young Eyes featuring Confessor. Anyway, uh, next up we've got. To, oh, we've got uh, Coffee Specs and Music. This, uh, this is our acoustic guy. And this guy, you know, uh, this is called Song for My Wife. Um, boy, somebody wanted to get some tonight. Here we go. <laughs> Control your breathing, man. Can you hear that breathe? Might want to get that mic in a bit closer so you can get a little less, little less breath noise. the fact this is all one take. You might have wanted to have done another take. Uh, you know, a couple little minor flubs are okay, but there, I counted about three of them. So, um, yeah, go for another take on that, dude. Seriously. So oh, what you want to do is you want to do, you want to do um, a couple things. Another take would be a big one. Second, bring in uh, that mic a little bit closer. I'd aim it at, you know, have it around the 12th fret and aim it towards where your sound hole uh, meets the neck. Um, that's generally how I do it. Um, the other thing is just really want to be careful uh, and control your breathing. Where you have the mic right now, it's picking up too much br- breathing noise, so um, not quite what, where it needs to be. It was beautifully played, like I said, but I just might want to go for another take. That that That's my thought, you know, and uh, give it another shot. But... 
I always really, really love hearing your stuff on here, man. Um, the other idea here is if you have a piezo pickup on that guitar, and I'm not sure if you do or not, is uh, one thing I love to do, I stole this idea from Gordon Lightfoot, of all people, um, is mic, use a mic, but take the piezo as well and split them left and right, and you can get a really huge acoustic sound that way. Um, and it's a nice blend, and it really works the way just how we work on the fretboard, and the, the sound will kind of pan back and forth just to go with your playing. It's really a fucking cool effect. Try it if you have the time. Uh, next up, okay, we've got Diary of Madness with Butterfly. Like that drum sound already. Shit! God damn it. Uh oh. <laughs> the fuck was that? Damn it. Mm. Wrong button. Uh hang on, how do I do that? Um reopen fucking closed window. Um open again by using keyboard show cat. Chrome browser plus control shift T. Okay. One sec, control, shift, T. Great. Nope, that's not it. Uh-oh. Ah, there we go. Yep. Is that it? Butterfly. Right. Sorry about that. Here we go. Whoops! <laughs> I killed the vibe there. Reason why, that's probably a reason why they they didn't bring, get me into DJ school. Damn Apple. Oh, it wasn't Apple. It was, I'm an idiot. That's all. I hit the wrong fucking button. Thought it was closing out, um, closing out another window. No, the notebook did not crash. I actually closed the wrong tab. The laptop was flawless. Wow, a lot of Mac haters on here. Jeez. I would agree. I think the drums might be a touch loud. Maybe it can come down just a hair. The guitars work great, though. Is there a bass guitar in here, though? That's a big question. This might be uh, mixed by Lars Ulrich. Watson Studios, thank you very much. All right, that was cool. So that was Butterfly by Diary of Madness. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Maybe the drums were a touch loud. Um, oh, fuck, I did have that up. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, well, we all knew that. Okay, Phoenix Master 2448. Let's check this out. This needs to come get downloaded here as well. Bear with me a second here. Uh, downloading. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Fuck, hold on. That's the crap for that. Yeah, that's the crap version. Here we go. Here's the real version. Okay, another fucking... Uh, another song where the drums are mixed way too loud. I love lead kick drum. 
lead kick drum with no snare. Okay, I'm thinking the, the kick drum's a little too loud. Kick drum's louder than the vocal. Turn down the kick! Hey, Mike Sperling, you're very welcome. Thanks for uh, thanks for sending one. Fire, fire, follow me. Okay, that doesn't work at all there. Usually I'm all for vocal harmonies. I like to hear them, but it's probably not. Not a good idea. My path, the silver moon. I am the watering folk. Some the white slider of night. Where's I follow the strike? You find and store while you find only Again, yeah, vocals are really buried here. Okay, nice, nice, nice change with the timing here. That works. Yeah, where's the toms here? You got this massive kick drum, the tons of tick, tick, tick. We need cannons, dude. Okay, so assessment here. I think it was a pretty fucking good song. Unfortunately, it was really hindered by the vocals. The main vocal was way too low. And um, yeah, the the group vocals, the harmony, it was, or quote-unquote harmonies, just didn't work at all. Um, so, all right, Brams576, thank you so much. You're going to be up in a bit. Um, where, where am I going with all this? The, the group vocals didn't work at all. They actually kind of ruined it, to be honest with you. Um, I could I could deal with the main vocalist to a certain extent, but the, the, the group vocals just did not work at all. So I think a major rethink there would work pretty well. Um, might want to get the screamy guy to do maybe a couple different layers of maybe some low ones and some real low ones and then maybe a few higher ones. But whatever you got going on right now for the chorus vocals doesn't fucking work. So take those out because they don't help. That's my thought. That's the biggest problem with that song. Mix-wise, wasn't half bad. Turn the kick drum down a couple dBs and uh, try and get some boom going on those toms. You know what I mean? Maybe a little bit of reverb and boom, boom, boom. Try that. See if that works. Anyway, next up, we've got Apex Fallen, uh, Leviathan's Choke. Or was it Le No, it's Leviathan. Okay, Apex Fallen with Leviathan's Choke. Let's see what we get here.
System is down. System is down. Timothy Hayden, thank you so much. Yeah, Angry Shooter Box says the same thing. Uh, major pittery pattery drums. I would agree with this. Where's the beef on the drums, man? The snare is very tiny. I don't think glow sticks are right for this one, Josh Trotter. Guitar sounds nice, though. It's very nice. Everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. No dead men saying you can minimum tip is 15. Uh, you'll just be waiting in the list longer. That's all. It's four minutes, four fifty-four. Four minutes, fifty-four seconds. So we're almost five minutes here. This is a long one for this kind of music. Yeah, the vocals are fine. He's definitely hitting that. Very well played. Cymbals are a little overwhelming, though, honestly. They're a little more powerful than the guitars. See, you should have ended the song right there. But this goes on for like another minute and a half. Hey, Ocean Soul, what's happening? Currently trying to make it through this one. It's not a half bad mix, but it's just like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's missing here. Ended. No, no, no. We got we to gotta hear the whole thing. <laughs> the mix was good. Other than, you know, the, the toms were a little tiny. Oh, hey, Gibbo, thank you very much. I got to go make one here in a minute. So hopefully, hopefully you can find one of those epics you guys insist on throwing at me, and then I can go make a fucking coffee. It might, yeah, this might be just a minute and a half of your noise. Oh, it is. Okay, fuck it then. All right, so big suggestion. And the eerie noise, because it doesn't need, nobody needs a minute and a half of that shit. Like, seriously, what the fuck are you guys trying to do? You know, I get it. You're trying to make your big artistic statement, and that statement is, uh, makes it, uh, yeah, it just doesn't fucking work. Um, so, yeah, that would be my thing. Um, wasn't a half bad mix, just kind of maybe bring the symbol level down a little bit. Those are artificial drums, shouldn't be too hard. And yeah, so Jeremy Paquette says it's missing bass. Maybe a bit of twang on that bass guitar would be a good idea. Oh, Cleta says I have a great new mug for coffee. Yes, I do. I'll have to go get it. Give me a minute. 
And thank you very much for that, Cletus. I uh, really do appreciate that. Ying Frang, now we just try to try to fuck wild with chew. Okay. Now we just try to fuck with you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Great. Sorry. I see what you did there. You you made it witty. Whoa, sorry. Audio, thank you so much. Okay, how we doing here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys absolutely fucking rule once again. I got this because of you. Listen, look at how light it is. It's so nice. I'm one-handed, no problem. And it's silent. Oh, it's great. And it's killer for editing video. I did a few experiments with it last night. Once again, your donations go right back into the show. That allows me to hire script writers and editors. And uh, we've got something really special coming up tomorrow. Spent a long time working on this one. It's 11 reasons why modern metal vocals suck. And it's possible because you guys, for na- numerous reasons, um, number one, because I can afford to hire a script writer and an editor. Number two, because I don't have to worry about you know my video getting demonetized. I can go back to kind of the videos I originally started doing. You remember when I did the fans deserve better? I had a lot of clips of third party copyrighted stuff, and then you know they started you know hitting everybody's videos and demonetizing everything. Yeah, well. I can do tomorrow's video. It can get claimed, and I'm not going to give a shit because you guys are making it fucking happen right fucking here. So I don't have to worry about that crap anymore. Because And for that, I am absolutely and eternally fucking grateful for you guys. Um, <laughs> sounds like you said strippers and scriptwriter. No, editors and scriptwriter, you fucking degenerate. Anyway, uh, what do we got here? Let me find a long song here. Um, I want to go make a coffee. So what do we got? Three, three. Oh, and curtain. Okay, what's this? Okay, that's one of those. Okay, cool. 5.15, curfew, my day will come. What else we got? Uh, Dave Dodson, three and a half minutes. Always forever, doesn't fucking say. 4.11, yeah, we got a bunch of cool stuff coming here. Um, oh, yeah, we got another Jeff Scott Soto com- song coming. That's cool. Um, yeah, I always like to hear from Jeff Scott Soto. Hell of a fucking set of pipes on that dude. He sang for Ingve once upon a time. All right, so we're going to go... Just, yeah, curfew, my day will come. This is five minutes. So I'm going to throw this on. This is a video. Hopefully nobody cuts themselves in this one. And um, Okay, it's just a still image. Let's take a listen. I'm going to run out and make a coffee while this goes on. So I like the guitar sound. Needs more bottom end than that kick drum. Anyway, I'll be right back. Coffee's on.
it back. Why is, are those crashes so harsh? Did you guys like get, you know, like Sabian B8s or something? Ugh. Oh yeah, by the way. Ooh, got this in the mail the other day. Thanks, Cletus. This sounds like, uh, you know, warm-up jams for um, the Power Slave album. That's a well-played lead. But I hate the cymbals. It's just like... It's like garbage can lift. Ouch! Guitar sounds nice, though. Singer's great though. She's got a got a bit of a Kim Carnes vibe to her. She's got some got some fire there. Can I get the tracks for this? Can you guys PM me? I would love to fucking maybe remix this. This is definitely right up my alley. I'm just wondering if I could do anything with those symbols, like maybe throw some soothe across those tracks or something. Here, I'm going to leave you guys a message right on the video. It's like, uh, PM me, send me the tracks. Might want to remix this one. Hey, look out, world. You're about to witness Brandon M., thank you so much. Still getting used to this tiny ass keyboard though. That's that's the one thing. Uh, yeah, so I'd say reach out to me, guys. I might want to remix that one. It might be Betty Davis. Dies. Okay, I have no idea what the fuck that was. Uh, anyway, that was cool. That was fun. Uh, next up is West Coast Gray again with br the braiding cord. Gortooth Magma Blood. That's a fucking awesome name, dude. Oh, like the thump on that kick. It's a little harsh on the cymbals though. Wherever I go. Be Five minutes of this? Are you serious? Wrapped around me under the stone or over the sea. You're always there to catch me. And what do I fight? And what do I scream? Okay, that symbol's really fucking harsh. That tells me you might have some parallel walls in your drum room, and you, you can break those up, you know, with some with some absorbers and that kind of stuff. Um, actually, we went. I was down in San Diego there a couple weeks ago. We threw some. Okay, this is cool. We threw some. Um, we threw some traps up from Gek Acoustics, and it just transformed the way of the drum room sound. It was fucking really amazing. Uh, Tan Jacket, um, I was a huge fan of the band before Queens of the Stone Age, and that was Kaya. And yeah, they didn't necessarily have the best fucking gear, but man, did they ever have to get some, because they had a great fucking engineer. Shaden, thank you so much. Man, you guys are uh, making life easy for me. I think I'm getting a new camera this month. Fuck. I like this one better than the last one, to be honest with you. This one's a little bit easier. It's got some ups and downs to it. 
I just like to hear a better drum recording. You know? That's cool. That's some dynamics. That works. Dissonant guitars, that's kind of cool. Hey, that's okay, okay Corey Gumminger. Uh, you'll figure it out. Just click the link, it's pretty self explanatory. Yes, I would agree, Jay Jacob. The symbols are a little, little. Harsh and they're really loud. You might want to turn those down a couple of years. Yeah, see, like your cymbals are louder than the lead here, and the lead's supposed to be the focus. Instead, we've got lead hi hat. That's a really well played solo, though. Thank you so much. I think I'm getting a GH6 this month thanks to you guys. You guys fucking rule. I'm so fucking grateful. I really am. Sorry, I'm just texting with my editor. We're, we're trying to get tomorrow's video just tweaked out a little bit. So, Yeah, it's a little... Real, little uh, that was uh, the braiding cord by West Coast Gray. So that's a... Yeah, that's a little U2, a little Lou Reed. That's a little different than what we normally get. Dude, like I said, I really like that one. I like the guitars. I like the dynamics. That was a lot easier to listen to the first one. It's not quite as moany as the, as the first one. So good job there. Um, like I said, a better drum recording would probably go a long way. Um, you might want to take a look at building some traps. And like I said, um, I... I'm, I got my buddy Dave Velez down in San Diego. We, we shot some stuff there uh, a couple weeks ago, and I'm probably going back down in June after Nam to go hang out at his place for a few days, and we're going to do some before and after things about you know doing acoustic treatment for a drum room. Like, Gick Acoustics is getting a fearless gear review because Dave uh, dropped some money on some acoustic treatment. It really did make a big difference, especially in the low end on his drums and um, just you know tightening everything up and whatnot. Um, it sounds like you're using shitty overheads, um, that's the one spot you don't want to cheap out is on your overheads. Uh, what are the fucking, uh, what are the Lewitts? Give me a second. I can never remember the Lewitt. Uh, I can never remember the name of the Lewitt mics. Give me a second here. Yeah, the LCT 140 Airs or the 040 Matches are going to be great. Either one are going to do the fucking job and give you a really, really, really nice smooth sound. It sounds like you're using some, like some Apex mics or, or something like that. Um, those are like by by Yorkville here in Canada and they're fucking terrible. Most of them anyway. I, I haven't come across too many Apex mics that I actually like. Maybe one of their older ribbons was pretty cool. But Rolling Drums video getting... Yeah, I need to finish off this actually. I want to do a, a video on the Roland V-Drums, but they started me off with this. You know, I'm just starting a new working relationship with Roland. And um, I got to do this. I got to do a review on this. This is the Go Mixer Pro, uh, which is actually pretty cool if, you wanna, if you're traveling and whatnot and on the road and you want, you want something that's going to do the job. It's even got a fucking pad in it for hot guitar signals, which is fucking cool. Um, so I really like that idea. Uh, that video should be coming out in a week or two. Um, I've been sitting on it for a while. Roland's like, hey, where the fuck's our review, Glenn? And I'm like, okay, it's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. Um, hopefully one day they're going to let me do a review on their V drums and I can do something on tweaking those out and making them happen. That kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So again, that was West coast gray with the braiding cord. Um, 
Okay, I want that rolling mixer. Oh, okay, cool. Weapon against evil. You know what? PM me. Maybe I'll send it to you after the uh, after I'm done shooting the video. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing in my, in my videos there. Um, I should ask that. You know, it's like, hey, how many of you guys want to see a Roland V drum review on this show? I started out with Roland Roland V drums actually. Um, actually, started out with some Tama Tech Stars, and I went over to Roland V drums, and the drummers just fucking hated them back in the day, and um, so that's how I learned how to record real drums. And it turns out the drummers were just compensating for shitty technique. They blamed the kit. And it turns out once we had them on real drums, guess what? They were still fucking terrible. So it turns out uh, that was a lot of money I spent for nothing. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is uh, Selma with TD New Way. Is it time to go? Makes me want to do stupid things to my hair and play a fucking Rickenbacker. It's from underwater and it shows the state I'm in. I like the backup vocals, that's nice. Temporarily detached. Again, cymbals are a little harsh. You might want to, there's a plugin called Smooth out there. I really need to do a review on. They've been asking me for a while and I'm just been overwhelmed with shit. So. It's my time to show. Angry Shoebox, shut the fuck up. I was thinking the cure, but whatever. Sounds like a little lo fi. Maybe you exported your MP3 at the wrong bitrate because it seems to be lacking top end. But still, uh, sounds a little harsh. Hey, everybody, it's Rudy AM. Say hi, Rudy. And this time I will not say I'm sorry. Lemon heads, maybe a little. Rudy is a funny motherfucker, I will say this. He's also a lot of fun to hang out with. I've had the extreme pleasure of getting to make several videos with him over the last couple of years, and it is always a blast. Rudy, uh, it's so great to see you drop by, dude. things on the mix couple things on the song you know i don't mind it you gotta it, it's a good jumping off point okay the vocals aren't too bad there's just something weird going on with the top end where it, there's no top end and it's still harsh in the top end like whiskey tango foxtrot i don't know what the hell happened there um that could be a mastering thing uh you might want to take isotope ozone and run it and again lift a couple of fucking mixes lift an eq curve off a couple of mixes you really like so maybe grab some rem or some cure and apply it to your song because you might be mixing on headphones that kind of thing about the song though i thought it was okay but it was kind of like ah uh, there you know didn't quite have enough dynamics maybe a couple of breaks you know for for the hook you know third time around the course stop the drums stop the thing and just sing it you know temporary temporary bam back in that kind of shit you know those are hooks those can help those can help that song you know be a lot more catchy try that try a couple of rests in there instead of everything going at full blast all the time you know paul lonnie talked about this about when he was mixing uh peace sells but who's buying you know um You know, there's that bit there, um, you know, in Peace Sells But Who's Buying was da 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 If there's a new way. Originally, the guitars kept going. They just sustained, and he, like, hit the mute there, and he's like, I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. So rests can be your friend, because that became a signature thing for Megadeth right there on Peace Sells But Who's Buying. Try it with yours. Try a rest in there at a few spots and see how that works see if that you know makes things move along a little bit better the song like this fine it's not a bad song it's a it's a good melody so try that see what you do good luck for you man anyway moving right along uh we got curtains featuring light travel original by georgie Grover. okay we got some shred stuff here let's see what we get here
Groovy music lessons. Okay, I'm down. Oh, Raise Divide. Thank you so much. Rest, lax in the haven, lux on the brain with the days that remain. And that is the whitest rap ever. Even. I don't have faith, I just write another page and wait. Greatest looks similar. Love the Needs more bottom end of the kick. Waste a month, but there ain't hate. No one gives a fuck. Nothing critical enough in any case. Oh no, he said the F word. Not on my show. Back it up, pick a different tongue. I am the oblivion. I do not be living. I be thinking at a distance and deliver lyrics. Better sung and whisper. Let's the rip your soul to ribbons. Yet I wonder, like it basically is any of it hidden? Is anybody listening? Is it raps like mayonnaise? When the taste of the kiss gold, place it on the lips of the soil with a mixed grow. If they recoil at the hips, there's a veil in the midst, but a sail on the ship that'll always feel the wind hit. Leaves no space for what I think. I don't wanna cry, I don't really mind. I'm saying it's alright. You'll find you're just a hot skip and a jump for me. Everybody dies. I'll give him credit though, at least he's trying something different. Yeah, it's got sort of shred and rap all thrown on the same song. Hey, why the hell not? I just want to hear more bottom end in this mix and more beef in the vocal. Because right now he sounds really like fucking tiny. Times and wake up feeling like I didn't get a wink to make up. Feeling like I didn't learn a thing today. Stuck feeling I don't have a fucking thing to say. Trust, I always pull it out of sleeve anyway. He needs some bottom end on the vocal. Dude, yo, make sure you're recording on the cardio and get in close. I feel like I leave a little piece every day. Can you hear it? I turn out and turn in the burnout gets burned in my eye twitch like I got a million little secrets and I'm letting you in there was nothing underneath the get the bloody wood guy to rap there's an idea yeah bloody wood fucking rules the loud clang rattle down the street do I even want to chase okay she was back in my pub like ouch you guys are brutal what I've been saying really mean it I mean really how'd you see it it's everything that I know there's no place like home I don't want to cry I don't really mind I'd like to hear the vocals doubled up here or tripled, you know, get a, it's all right. I'd like to hear, you know, some backing vocals there and some harmony. I'm saying it's all right. You'll find you're just a hot skip and a jump for me. Everybody dies. I don't have the time. I'm saying it's all right. Cute curtains featuring light travel. Okay, uh, that was Georgie Dorber. That was interesting, man. Yeah, um, that was a little different. I kind of liked it, to be honest with you. That was pretty fucking cool in a lot of ways. It was it was a mixture of a bunch of different genres and whatnot. Like I said, I just like to hear a bit more beef on the vocal and some more bottom end in the overall mix. I think you might be onto something. You know, it's a little different. And uh, that's something we haven't heard on this show a lot is different. Uh, we've heard a lot of the same. So I think you should take that, develop, or that idea and just fucking run with it and create your own thing, man. I think that's fucking cool. I think you're brave for doing that, actually. So yeah, shreddy rap music. Why the fuck not? Yeah, that's kind of neat. It's not like rap metal of the late 90s. No, this is like fucking, it's like prog metal meets hip hop. But the vocal needs a better recording. That's that's my opinion anyway. And yeah, work. get some harmonies in there on the, on the singing bits, more layers. Get big there on the choruses. Get real big. Not just, you know, and, and not just like one dimensional. And again, try the rest thing as well. So you can like, you know, fucking, you know, have starts and stops and that kind of thing. And for some dynamics, I think that'll help out a lot. Anyway, uh, but again, get in close on the mic and it'll give you the beef you're looking for. Yes, but uh, I think you might be on something. All right, next up, we've got somebody who's been on the show quite a bit, and that's the Dave Dodson Project. Let's see what Dave's got for us today. Kick drum's playing a little too much for this song. Vocals are a little buried here. Kind of 
Kindly Deeds Done for Free. Out. Somebody says too much bottom end. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm wondering if you have an SSL bus compressor on this mix. You nailed the lead tone, dude. Gladys Sue says Udo on vocals. Yeah, it's like Udo meets ACDC. Yeah. Yeah, a little, little bit of SSL boss compression probably help get this, get the bottom end under control a little bit, which kind of would help a lot. Not sure what's going on with the drums, if those are real or not. It sounds like they're in the back of a room, though. Yeah. Might want a little, a little bit of close mic in there as well. In fact, we can hear the bass guitar. I'd like to hear maybe a bit more snap on there, but that's really right. Oh, Jack of Mooney, thank you so much. Okay, nice ending. That was kind of cool. That was Dave Dodson. Dave, not bad. Uh, you're definitely improving, dude. I'm not sure why the drums sound so like far away, though. That's the big thing. All right, guys, it is 20 after 11. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep donations open for another 20 minutes. So if you want to get in on the list, I am closing that at uh, 11.40 a.m. Eastern uh, just because, you know, I can't be here all day. I will be back tonight around 7 or 8, though. Uh, so if you want to get up then, that's fine. But if you want to get get in on and, and get your song reviewed this morning, I'd say get in on the list right now because it's only going to be open for another 20 minutes. Anyway. Let's uh, move it along right now. We've got always for uh, actually no. Hang on, we've got. Uh, I'm gonna I gotta take a leak, so I'm gonna throw up Cemetery Hill featuring Chaz Fritcho of Behold the Slaughter. Oh no, not Chaz Fritcho of Behold the Slaughter! Wow, are we in for a treat today? Let's see what we get. This is of serpents, by the way. Be right back. Why are the drums over on the left side? Okay, that's a big boo-boo. Wow. 
Why the fuck are the drums on the left? And very, very, very quiet. Yeah, yeah, somebody's got a good point. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. There is no kick drum on this mix at all. Was one played in the song? That's a big question. Could be a left-handed, left-handed drummer with no legs because we can't hear the fucking kick. There's a snare in there somewhere. Jacob Mooney, thank you so much for subscribing, my friend. Hilariously, dude actually has no legs and is super offended. Good job, Glenn. <laughs> Fuck you, Cletus. Hey, nice coffee mug. Be a shame if somebody smashed it at the pieces. Dick. I like the guitar sound, though. It's not bad. Yeah, this is so not like a 5150 with a vintage 30, and it's kind of nice. He just rubbed it. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Let me, yeah, hang on. Yeah, somebody said I just rubbed the junk on that coffee cup. No, I haven't done that yet. Give me a moment. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Hi, Glenn from Poland. Hey, Glenn from Poland. How you doing? <laughs> anyway, okay, so that was, uh, the fuck was that? Hold on a minute. That was uh, Cemetery Hill featuring Chad's Fritz Show from Beyond the Slaughter. Okay. Um, yeah. Not a bad track. I like the guitar sound, but yeah, the drum recording was absolute not good at all. I uh, would really recommend um, going over to my video series, How to Record Heavy Drums, and watch all those episodes, and that can help a, a lot. Uh, anyway, okay, so uh, we have 15 minutes left. We're accepting um, people to get in on the fucking the list. So if you want to get in this morning, now's the time. Anyway, uh, we've got Bedroom Janesh. I don't know if that's supposed to be sexy or not with Always Forever. Hopefully the song doesn't feel like that. It's only two minutes. Hopefully we get something interesting. Let's see what we get. Too much reverb, we can't hear what you're saying. Forever, always, you and me, let's land down at the mill squad. Wipe triple kill, take one, take two. Believe that when I just say, bass guitar is a little loud. I'd like to hear a little bit of twang on it instead of just all bottom ends. And your bass player's off time. Always, forever, you and me, yet. September night, street lights and full of dreams, yeah. Different flowers. The drumming there. Weekend. No, I love you, and I promise that I mean that. Always, forever, you and me, yet. September night. 
Okay, wow, that's a really terrible drum recording. We can hear the bass guitar, but the drums kind of like, it sound like they're like, you know, down the hall in the next building. I'm not sure what what's going on there, Jamesh. Um, you know, please watch my series "How to Record Heavy Drums" because that uh, will help you out a lot. New strings on the bass also uh, will m- make it sound a lot better. That was pretty fun. Wow, that was only two minutes, and that was a long fucking two minutes. I'll say. Yeah. Oh, Rocco, thank you very much. Rocco gets in. Uh, oh, hang on. I got to fucking load up a couple of these here. No, we're not fucking playing that yet. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Jacob. Oh, oh, hang on. Here we go. What do we got here? And, yep, yeah, just got a couple more here to, oh. Donate storage, more caffeine for the Cletus coffee cup. Okay, great. Yeah, unfortunately, I got to go wash this fucking thing now. Anyway, I uh, appreciate it, Dave, that, that, Rocco. Appreciate that a lot. Okay. Okay. Uh, once again, we got about 10 minutes left for donations, and then I'm closing it down for the morning. So if you want to get in, now's the time. Anyway, uh, next up, we got Serapis with Morbus something or other. Morbus Amini. <sighs> oh, crap. No, why is this loader? You sent me a flack and now it's opening up in fucking isotope. No. Uh, let's just fucking demo it for right now. Okay. I need, a, I need to fucking turn on my isotope. Can we play it here? Is this going to play? Ah, crap. Hold on. <laughs> now I got to find it again. Yeah, I just just got this computer the other day. So, you know. Give me a second here. One damn second. Somebody had to throw me a fucking curveball, of course. <sighs> Sent me a fucking flack. Jesus Christ. Not necessarily a bad idea. Let me just find it here. And there we go. Serapis. Can I open this? What the fuck? Uh-oh. This is going to get interesting. Hold on. Open with. Here we go. Let me open this with VLC. See what, see how we do here. Yes, it's playing. Hooray. That's very nice guitar. Inclined to Shadows, thank you so much. You're in the the queue. Like I said, we're closing the queue down in 10 minutes. Killer lead tone. That sounds great. Kick drums a little loud. It was great right until the vocals kicked in. Too much reverb on that vocal. Corey got him in there. Yes, they do, depending on if CD Baby takes them down or not. That's why we got to do it live. That's nice there. Another angry vegan, probably. That was cool. Kicks 
okay. It's a little snappy, not enough bottom end on my, my opinion. It's got some good definition. I like the accordion, but that actually worked. Nanobot, um, yeah, CD Baby doesn't interrupt these streams when they're live. They only take, claim them afterwards. And it fucking sucks. CD Baby can suck my balls. Hey, J-Lo, have fun making the donuts. And I totally believe a real human played those drums, too. Copy, base, copy, base, copy, base. Yeah, all I can say there, uh, Serapis, if you really want to impress us, get a real drummer to play that. That would be impressive. Okay, I, l I like the distortion there at the end. That's pretty cool. Not a bad recording. Was a little... Nope, hang on, wrong button. <laughs> Not a bad recording at all. I love the guitar sound. Uh, hold on a second here. Yeah, can we just fucking close that out? Son of a bitch, hold on. All right, let's close that out for now. I'll deal with it later. All right, that wasn't too bad, Serapis. Not too bad at all. I really enjoyed that. Like I said, a little too much vocal on the, uh, a, little, a little too much reverb on the vocal. Excuse me. <laughs> a little too much vocal on the reverb there. Yeah, exactly. Um, it kind of was drowning things out. It was really, really cool, though. The guitar sound was fantastic. That was great. And like I said, find a real fucking drummer, though. Let's see him pull it off. That would be super impressive. Next up, we got Jeff Scott Soto, and Jeff used to sing for Ingve's band. So we're in for a real treat here. This is uh, Second Chance, written by Martin Mott, and this is over at Watson Studios. Well, great job, Skull Crusher. Just back off on the fucking vocal reverb a little bit. It'll tighten things up a lot. Definitely a pro mix. I made mistakes and they hurt like hell. Let's make sure we don't cheat ourselves. See, those are big fucking toms there. That's what I've been talking about. Corey Gummiger, thank you very much. Okay, we got four minutes left, and then I'm closing all submissions. Greg Daffron says, definitely sounds like Christian Rock. Jesus Christ, you might have a point. I'm sorry. Groovy music lessons, yes, we are. Yeah, I can put this in bangers, sure, why not?
Okay, Shane Brower. Oh, you got we got two minutes left, guys. Two minute warning, guys. You want to get it on today's stream? Now's the time. Oh, nice string. Dakota, hopefully you're back tonight. Striper needs some love too. Yeah, this is very striperish. Absolutely. Just missing the hairspray. Uh, song's called Second Chance there, Leon Corbett, in case you couldn't figure it out by the chorus. I miss the Aquanet. <laughs> Beautiful toms, man. Hey, KK, is that, uh, is that KK one of my favorite guitar players of all time ever, KK? I really hope. That would be nice. So nice of you to drop by if it is. Been a fan for years. Um, anyway, yeah, that was Jeff Scott Soto. So there we go, formerly of the Yngwie Band. Go put, on, uh, go put on I'll See the Light tonight if you want something a little bit more metal. The guy's got a hell of a set of pipes, though. Great fucking job, man. <laughs> I really don't have anything to add on that mix. I mean, like, come on, seriously. <laughs> what am I going to say? <laughs> All right, all right, uh, Zachary Krugman, you are the last on the list. That's it. Donations are fucking closed. So if you guys missed out, hopefully you'll be up tonight. That's it for today. Um, so, okay, hang on. We're going to fucking, wow, we got a, vi a video. And anyway, okay, uh, where the fuck are we going here? Vindictive homicide. Okay, that sounds promising. Not opposed to, you know, um, as opposed to the regretful homicide, I suppose. Uh, let's check it out. Sensing the drums might not be played by a human. Destroy more than second on big six. Do not be turned. Rip me my way to your final street. Sorry, boy, you listen to me. Okay, you might need to drop the kick down on those real long blasts. Just a DB or two, because they're a little overwhelming. I like the guitar set. Charles Wagner says, LOL, these drums are retarded. They are kind of, aren't they? Not supposed to say that on this show. I know, I know, I know, but come on, sometimes it's just fucking hard. You came here for political correctness. You came to the wrong fucking place. That's all I can say. That's not disparaging the mentally disabled. <laughs> yeah, okay, get hard if that works too. Glad the real drums he is using six foot pedal. Yeah, sure he is.
Look my laptop. Jim Frank says, my wife's boyfriend loves this. <laughs> Why is the kick so loud and the snare so buried? That's my question. Turn the fucking snare up. You nailed the guitar sound. You really did. Fun fact, I'm a bassist in my band, and my guitarist is how you describe bassist. Okay. A.S. Brick to that. Took a long time to progress. <laughs> Again, kick drums louder than the lead guitar. Guys, you gotta start bouncing your mixes out a bit better. Question, do all, oh, Adonis says, uh, do all songs from the style all sound the same or officially old? No, they all sound the same. Can't hear the bass, can't hear the snare, but you can definitely hear the kick drum. Uh, AS Brick asked what I think about recording and mixing on tape. Well, yeah, your band can pull it off, sure, but it's not automatically going to give you a better sound. That's Nice guitars. Not so sure about that kick drum, though. That was definitely a case of lead kick drum. Might want to turn that down a couple of decibels. That might get you where you want to go a little bit quicker. All right, next up, we got Diablo S screaming at the sun. Ah! Where's the bass guitar? Real drummer. Does recording to tape sound better than recording to PC? Not necessarily. You need like the absolute top of the heap analog gear for that. Hey, Felipe, thanks so much for stopping by, man. This one needs a lot of work. Okay, guitars sound really nasal. You might want to use a booster. OD808 is going to be your friend. You want to do set it up for a clean boost. Not a lot of overdrive, but a lot of fucking volume boost into your amp. That'll help uh, get rid of that nasally tone. You want to balance your guitars out because we don't have two guitars here. We have one over here. And Sounds like part of the guitar over here, but not much. And your snare drum's over on your right. Why is that? We had one, one mix earlier with the drums were on the left. Now we got the drums on the right. Please see uh, my series, How to Record Heavy Guitar, and my other series, How to Record Heavy Drums. Kick drum's kind of there, but there's no bottom end on it at all. Though. Sounds like you just EQ'd the top end with it. And that doesn't work. Again, you need a flam slam pad or a Danmark kick pad, something, you know, metal or Kevlar or something like that that's going to generate the click. You can't do it with an equalizer because it's going to sound like that. And that's not good. Yeah! 
The whole vocal performance isn't half bad, though. Well, quarters and wood beaters. Wood beaters can be fine, but the quarters, you'll find that your, your beaters will actually burn through the fucking tape holding the quarters on. So that's why I recommend a, a flam slam pad or a Danmar or something like that. They can usually stay on better. Is this is Metal Zone in front of the app. <laughs> So much better than 99% of the mud Chad to an auto court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree there, Cletus, but it just needs a way better drum recording. And it sounds like maybe you guys didn't have enough mics or you really cheaped out somewhere. Like, that's the thing. A cheap set of drum mics is not going to be your friend. It doesn't matter how many, you know, I wouldn't worry so much about the, you know, the, the interface as much as the drum mics itself. Guys will spend thousands on nice interfaces and then get really shitty drum mics and that doesn't help them. Yeah, the thing is, you can get great drum mics for not a whole lot of money. Like the Lewitt Deep TP 340s for the Toms are like 99 bucks each. You know, a Audix D6 on the kick will be 200 bucks. So you're talking two, three, four, maybe 500 bucks, 600 bucks for the close mics anyway. And then, uh, you know, okay, put aside a grand for drum mics. There we go. You want to record live drums, you're going to need about, um, what do I recommend? Charles Wagner says, what do I recommend for drum mics? Okay. Lewitt, uh, the, the Lewitt uh, Air mics for the overheads, the Lewitt 340s for the toms, 57 on the snare, made, and the nicest condenser you can afford for underneath, and then a D6 on the kick, and then whatever you can afford for rooms. Okay, maybe $1,400 for room, for drum mics. <laughs> I would definitely recommend um, spending as much as you possibly can on drum mics, and if you can't afford them, go rent some. See what you can do. Don't cheap out on your drum mics. Seriously, do not cheap out on your drum mics. Oh, shit. Hold on a sec here. Incoming call. Hello? Yes, it... Yep. Five minutes away. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Bye. Getting my water meter changed out here, so... uh this is going to be interesting. I might have to pause this for a couple seconds um, so I can do this because I've got uh, I've got about ten songs that need to be fucking played here. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? What do we got? Uh, we got a video we can watch for the next minute or two. Like all you guys send me music videos except now. Oh, okay. Here's one. New Sun by uh, Mary's Vale. This is three minutes. Let's throw this on anyway. Oh, she said she's going to be about five minutes. Okay, I got to go talk to the wife. Oh, Inclined to Shadows, Comfort and Silence. Let's play this. This is six and a half minutes. And um, I'll give this a fucking review in just a sec, guys. Um, hopefully, it's not going to take too fucking long. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna. Unfortunately, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to step out for a minute. I was hoping to get this done, but she's really early. Come back after lunch. So I'll be right back. Wow, that's a nice kick drum. I'm still here. You guys gonna get pissed if I pause this uh, this broadcast for about ten minutes, so I can go deal with that water meter change out because it needs to get done. And I wasn't honestly expecting this many people to stop or come by. <laughs> Okay, you guys are pretty cool about it. Yes, I'm upgrading the tone wood in my water meter. Yeah, no, no, it's a mandatory thing that town's demanding it. I have no idea. It shouldn't take too long, but we'll see.
kick's a little loud here. Yeah, we got about 10 songs I got to go go through. Still. Hey, Mix Club, thanks for dropping by. Okay, kick drum's way too loud here. Automate that shit down. Kick drum's the loudest thing. You got a typewriter here. That's not a bass drum. And again, don't want 27 the living shit out of everything, dude. Seriously. If you're using Reaper, this is the easiest thing in the world is just add a bit of humanness in there. I mean, like, I don't fucking get it. Does nobody know this fucking function? No, that's definitely not real drums. Lead kick drum. Why is your kick drum louder than the vocal? What do you got? I don't understand that at all. Ah, Steven Richmond, that actually sounds like a great idea. I should totally do that. Okay, I'll put that in the stream. I don't know how to queue up a whole bunch of bangers, though. That's the pro. Oh, you know what I can do? I maybe can do this. Hold on. I will set up a queue. But I want to review you guys. You know, I don't want to just step away and have this shit roll. I mean, like, Jesus Christ, you guys are paying me for a fucking reason. Uh, definitely bass drum fatigue setting. And John Deff, thank you so much. For guys, you have to fucking work with your fucking with your fucking uh, MIDI settings here. You can't just 127 the kick on everything. Nobody plays drums like that. Yeah, this kind of goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay, we get it. You, you like that, but it's like, okay, kick drum has to come down, guys. Seriously, just bring it down a couple dBs. But again, go through your MIDI there. You can't 127 everything. That doesn't fucking work. Drummers don't fucking play like that. You want to add a little bit more realism. The dynamics are, are a little more important than the timing even. Um, so you want to randomize those ever so slightly. If you're in Reaper, there's a really easy function to do that. All right, next up, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh. Uh, C. Gumminger, uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is like a minute and 11 songs. It was 11 seconds. Let's check it out. Ooh, this is nice. Dude. What fucking James Bond movie was this in? Corey Gubbinger or whatever your name was. Dude, shit. That was nice. That was really nice. I'm putting this track into a contest for this month. No so no soundtrack. Interesting. That sounds like it should have been it could have been a fucking, you know, James Bond on a beach scene somewhere or something. That was fucking stellar. That really was. Okay, next up we've got uh Kateri Wolfcrack or something like that. Like the fuzz guitars, hold on. 
Katari Wolf Coven. All right, okay, I'm gonna let this roll for a minute. Uh, I have to fucking attend to this plumber. Five and a half minutes. Okay, yep, I'll be right back. Let's set this up. Listen to this, I'll be right back. easier than I thought. I don't have to pause anything. Thank Crom for that. Kate! Snare drum needs a fucking rim shot. That's just piff, 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 piff. That's not cool. Hand in hand We walk the night Feeling and majestic We walk into the fire And do not burn We walk into Ah, uh, no, the wife took care of it, so that's cool. Timing. Vocal needs a bit of compression on it. Just seems to kind of jump out of the way. It's the guitar sounds okay. It needs to come up, or the vocal needs to come down. Something's not quite in place. Probably need an SSL bus compressor on the mix itself as well. But I hate the snare. It's all just piff, piff, piff. It needs rim shots, and you need a bottom snare mic to get. You know, the snare sound, because this is all just top skin sound. It sounds like, yeah, you watched a couple videos where, oh, you got to put a 57 on top. They never bothered to tell you what to do with the bottom. You need a bottom snare mic to hear that fucking sizzle. Oh, timing's terrible. Yeah, you, again, another take would have been a really good idea on this one. Uh, might have suggest not getting fucking high when you record. Yeah, that snare is just awful. Oh, wow. All right. That's about all I can take of that one. It's just like, yeah, the timing really leaves a lot to be desired there. So I'm sorry, guys, but yeah, it really does. That goes on for another two minutes. It's like you could have ended it there and it would have been fine. So rethink your your, your drum recording and um, maybe record to a click. I'm all for bands recording live off the floor. I usually don't have a problem with that, but generally I expect tighter takes than that. And in a longer song, you need to practice and practice more and get that timing dead fucking nuts. You guys didn't sound like you were ready to record there. You sounded like you had to kind of put the song together there and maybe practice a few times. Cool, let's lay it down. No, you guys sound like you need another three more, four months of working on that song every fucking day and get it to the point where you're sick of it. Then, then and only then, you're ready to record it. So, 
You guys need to tighten up huge. That's the big problem right there. I didn't have a problem with the vocalist at all. I like the guitar sounds, but again, watch my series, How to Record Heavy Drums. That kind of music, you're going to want to get the best fucking mics you can get your hands on and uh, set up a space pair of room mics and compress the living shit out of them and give your drums some breath. And find the biggest possible room you can to record your drums in as well, because that's going to help. All right. Oh, yeah, that was Kill to Terry with Wolfhaven. So not great. It was a little bit long. But it, it is what it is. Hopefully you, you guys can found that helpful. But yes, drum room mics will be huge. And for the love of Crom and all that is holy in his name, for the love of Crom, please get a bottom snare mic and have your drummer play rim shots because and tune the drum better because that just did not fucking work at all. Uh, Remo heads are great. I, I like, what am I using? I use, uh, I, honestly, I use, uh, uh, fuck do I use? I I, I, uh, I use Aquarians and they're fucking fantastic. So yeah, I'd recommend those most more than anything. Okay, next up we've got Oh, too much kick drum. Way too much kick drum. And way too much pitter patter on the kick drum. That's not a bass drum, that's a that's a, that's a typewriter. Bloodlines. Yeah, turn down the uh, 10K on the kick drum, please, a little bit. And uh, don't 127 living shit out of it with the velocities. Yeah, it's a bass drum, not not a not a click drum. So let's hear some bass on the bass drum. So yes, turn the, turn the top end down, maybe bring the kick drum up just a bit, but maybe not. It's really fucking loud. The guitars are very nice, though. Bass guitar can come up a touch. Brandon Mount the Capaldo. Yeah, yeah, like seriously, don't mind it. Maybe a bit more space on the vocal. Like maybe a bit of a reverb or something like that. Give it some depth. Yeah, low end's definitely missing. Okay, it sounds like you're kind of going for that modern thing. I'd recommend getting Ozone and then running, say, like uh, maybe In Flames Clayman with it as a reference point and try having it master to get your EQ kind of work like that. My dear, why have you brought me here? Guitars are very well played, though. Yeah, the drums are very hard to listen to. Be right back. actually fucking snowing out right now. April 18th and we got snow. What the fuck is this bullshit? No, you're not, Tony S. Tony S says, I'm boss when Glenn is gone. You just got yourself a time out, motherfucker. Oh, nice lead tone. Oh, that works great. Well played, too. Sixty-seven freedom degrees in Atlanta. He says, "Move to the habitable zone." Problem with living in that habitable zone are the fucking mass shootings that happen every weekend now. No, thank you.
Yeah, bass guitar can definitely come up as well. It needs a bass. Sounds like it might have been mixed on headphones. I think that might have something to do with the massive imbalance going on, uh, especially with the kick drum and uh, everything else. So it's like, yeah. Again, Ozone would really be your friend on this one, but definitely turn the kick drum down. Turn the bass guitar up. Get some, get some twang on there. That's going to add some depth to your rhythm guitars as well. The guitars were nice, but... Uh, Atlanta is worse than L.A. for traffic, in my own opinion. Jesus, Stephen. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you think you think L.A. traffic's bad? Yeah, Toronto's pretty hideous, too. So, yeah, we, <laughs> you guys don't have a monopoly, monopoly on bad traffic, unfortunately. But uh, the, uh, Toronto does have one thing going for it that L.A. doesn't. That is an actual transit system that works. So there is that. Anyway, next up, Magna Sound Labs with The Fallen Spirit. Let's see what we get here. Best headphones to mix with. Uh, I gotta say, you know, the new Sennheisers with the um, with the fucking room simulator on are pretty impressive. I gotta I gotta check out the slate ones still. A few people have been asking for that one. That needs a Fero Scare review for sure. Yeah, I, just, I did a video on the fucking uh, the fuck with it. the Sennheisers a couple months ago. They were really nice actually. They were really fun. Oh, right on. We got a Thor Love and Thunder trailer. I'm checking that out right after this. Um, the whole mix needs to come up a little bit. It's a little quiet. Yeah, it's the uh, Sennheisers with the Deer VR system. Those are really cool. Check out uh, my video, Can You Mix Metal on Headphones? Because um, that really, really does lay it out exactly how it works. Not sure if I like these vocals or not. Drums are really buried, though. There's a lot of thump on that kick. Uh, you might want to try rolling off some of your bottom end in a few different spots to kind of give some space for that kick drum. Like on the guitars and whatnot, you want to dump everything below 90 hertz and just get it right out of the mix. In other way, even the kick, even the bass guitar, you can take down everything below 60 or whatnot and make some more space that way too. Yeah, Deer VR will work with all the head with most headphones anyway, I think. You download it and try it out. For Adonis, you were asking about that. Hey, fuck you and your dad metal. I just went to go see Judas Priest the other night. They were awesome. Kick drum's not bad, but like I said, maybe an SSL bus compressor is gonna help you get that bottom end under control a little bit. Yes, Woke Drums by Tessa. Get the Audix D6. It's my favorite. And if you don't want that one, get the 640 Rex by Lewitt. That's got two capsules. It's got a dynamic and a condenser, and it's fucking amazing, too. Either one's going to be great. All right, that's enough of this one. It's kind of the same thing over and over and over and over again. Okay. Um, like I said, it's just the guitar sounds decent, but it's a little quiet. Um, ozone for the mastering would be great. An SSL bus compressor. You want to set it to like a 30 millisecond attack and an auto release at a four to one ratio with about four dBs of compression. That's going to help get that overbearing kick drum under control. It's going to help you out an awful lot. All right. Next up, uh, Jacob. What the fuck is this? Jacob somebody or other. Doesn't say on the show here. Uh, Jacob Evans, okay, with uh, 3FC Test Master. Let's see what we get here. Is it going to play? Ooh. Ooh. 
Massachusetts is wheelchair metal. Yeah, I can still kick about all your asses at vocal, so fuck you guys. Okay, this is this is slamming. I can't find time to feel the feeling that it's wrong. Is something out of tune? Can I get a witness? Ready or not, it's time to live Can I get a Glenn, what's my favorite mic? The Lewitt 1040, the new one. It's incredible. Works on everything. Uh, I like it so much, I'm selling my vintage U87. If somebody's serious, PM me, we'll, we'll talk. This is fucking killer. I put this in tonight's bangers, but there's no direct, it's a direct link, not a streaming link. So I don't think you guys want me giving your song away. Put this shit up on, shit up on Spotify, guys. Rob Sutfield Alfred sounds fucking great for any singer. No matter is he. You promise me can you lost the train. One more shot, you know how it is. Can I get a witness? Ready or not, it's time to live. Can I get a witness? Sing this song into the night. Take these words or take the fight. He can hear the call. Three faced criminal. Three faced criminal. Hadley Scott McIntyre, go to the Reaper support page or the forum and ask there. They will help you out. They're, they're a good crowd in there. I like, yeah, I like a little bit more bottom end on the kick. Other than that, this is great. Yes, man's Fred, I am on tonight. I'm probably on at 8 p.m. tonight. Matt's largest diaphragm, maybe the uh, talk to Roswell, get a match set. You can get like the uh, mini K47s, those are fucking stellar. They're amazing on drum overheads, actually. They're not quite super large, they're kind of like mid mid sized uh, uh, capsules, but they're fucking incredible. Yeah, talk to Matt McGlynn. Tell him, uh, reach out to Matt McGlynn at um, Roswell Mics and um, tell him I sent you. No, I live in Eastern Time. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, uh, Eastern Time, even though I'm in Windsor. Anyway, yeah, that was fucking great, man. Holy shit. That was a great fucking mix. I just want to hear a bit more bottom on the kick. That was, uh, 3D Test Master, 3FC Test Master. So, yeah, while well, that's a Test Master, maybe a bit, a bit more, more bottom on the kick drum, you'd be all good. Um, I really enjoyed that mix. I wouldn't mind hearing a bit more body of the acoustics. Like, it was very, very stringy and picky, but didn't hear enough bottom end or mid-range or whatever. It was very, very tinny. But the vocal, the vocal was fucking stellar, and that's what counts the most. So great job there, dude. Really enjoyed that. Again, let's hear some bottom end on the kick. All right, next up is uh, Nine Treasures, Blackheart, re-recorded even. Okay, they got 25,000 views on this. And only 55, 50 comments, though? Yeah, okay. Ooh, I like this. Turn the vocal up! No, Back in Black is not too dated. That's a great reference. That was a great sounding record. 
You can always reference a good sounding record. Doesn't fucking matter what you're thinking. Of. Why is the vocal buried? This is fun, though. Yeah, this slaps. I like it. This is going on today's banger. Turn the fucking vocal up, guys. Jesus. It's kind of like, yeah, heavy metal pogues. If you ever ask the question, whatever happened to Dexy's Midnight Runners, this is the answer right here. More bottom end. Turn the bass up. <laughs> the raise three says no one ever asked that question. I just want to hear more bass guitar, guys. Yeah, it makes you want to drink a Guinness and punch the guy standing next to you at the bar. Yeah, uh, River Dance, more like River Mosh. That was cool. That was Nine Treasures with Blackheart. Um, I threw that up uh, on the list of today's bangers. That was a lot of fun, guys. Really enjoyed that. Would just like to hear a little bit more bottom end, especially in the kick and the bass guitar. The bass guitar just needs to be turned up. That'll give it some heaviness, some much needed heaviness. And the vocals are too fucking quiet, too. Okay, Apex Fallen with Reborn. They're coming up uh, right now. Oh, wow. We got a little mini video here. This is on uh, Instagram. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got lyrics too. Good, because I was really confused what they're saying. I thought he was trying to say. My apologies. <laughs> Kekistani says, this has some tone wood, I can hear it. Yes, but is it cherry or birch? Or mahogany? Thought we had a video. Where's the fucking video? Still no video. What the fuck happened there? That's bizarre. Uh oh. It's still playing audio though. That's fine. Huh. 
Huh. Yeah, that's really fucked up. I don't get what's happening there. It's a really good mix, though. Kick drum might be a touch on the loud side. Guitars are wonderful, though. That's Apex Fallen. You can check him out on Instagram. Yeah, I agree, Cletus. The video is using shitty tone wood. Fuck. Need to get some better tone wood. I don't know. This, this was a pretty wicked uh, custom desk made, though, by uh, the guys over at DIY Builds. Uh, my very good friend, Brad Wright. He did an amazing job with this so I think the tone wood for the desk is great. Solid fucking mix, dude. Everything's solid. This is a rocking mix, guys. Yeah. All right. You know what? That might go on today's bangers, actually. That was really well done. Aldino, yes. Uh, connect me to me through uh, my business inquiries page. Go to my about, go to business inquiries, send me a link there. All right, cool. Yeah, that was Apex Fallen. Good job, guys. Wow. Nice job. Really killer stuff. All right, next up, we've got New Sun, Fear Me Now. Not later, but now. Let's see if this will share. Nope. Give me one sec. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try resetting my HDMI connection here. See what the fuck happened. Uh, see what it does. That's that. Okay, there we go. Oh, wrong button. Now I really fucked it up. Was that the output? Okay, let's see what's going on here. We got anything? Nope. Okay. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. What the fuck's going on? Oh. Anyway, one sec. Let's see if this will do it. Maybe that jumped out. Who knows? Anything? Anything? Nothing. Okay, that's really fun. Oh, there we go. Hey, it just need, need to reset the HDMI connection. Great. Let's see how this works. Yep, we good here. We're good. All right, wonderful. That worked. Okay, yes. I don't know why why it needed to be reset. Fucking fucking Windows 98, except this is Mac OS, so now we can blame Mac OS for this one. Still, though, this is, you know, we've been doing this three hours and 15 minutes, so this has been pretty good. Uh, okay, I am still here. Okay, and let's go. New Sun, fear me now. So let's play the video. Nice lighting. Okay, somebody's using their Z-axis. It's time again, my friends, to make amends. I can't help it if they can go. Nice vocal, wow. Yeah, there you go, man. Charles. Yeah, this has been pretty fucking solid, yeah. I said, I'm not sure about the HDMI thing. Maybe I just need better HDMI output hardware, but whatever. Uh, this computer is not giving me any grief today, which has been really nice. I just want to hear a bit more thump on the kick drum. Other than that... Yeah, there's... The kick drum's not punching you in the chest. It needs a little bit more bottom end. Other than that, it's fucking killer. Yeah, this might go on today's bangers. Oh my god, you poor bastards. 
Somebody's got somebody's got a 5150 cabinet in this. Can definitely tell that's not a 5150 cabinet being recorded. It's not in the mix, but yeah, I feel sorry for the guy who ever did that. I hope you changed out those shit filled speakers. I really do. Aldino, all you got to do is go to my About page, click on Business Inquiries. It'll be there. Yeah, this is yeah, that was great, guys. Well done, well done. Uh, that was a really nice video too. So that's new sun. Fear me now. Uh, yeah, that's gonna go in uh, the list of bangers. That's great. Like I said, um, I just want to hear a bit more bottom end on the kick drum. Otherwise, don't change anything. That was a great mix. Great video. <laughs> yeah, it's very well shot. Very nicely lit. Yeah, you guys got the real package there. You just need a bit of a push. Yeah, great vocal though. That's what really really sells it. Like I said, though, you can definitely tell they didn't record that 5150 cabinet because 5150 cabinets don't sound anywhere nearly that good, unfortunately. Next up, well, except all the butthurt people um, in my 5150 cabinet review saying it sounds good, but yeah, well. Still waiting for all the amazing records being made with that 5150 cabinet, but whatever. Clean as Christ. Uh, yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. Praise Crom. Crush your enemies. All that good stuff. Okay, Devourer. Desire. Like the fuzzy guitar, it's cool. Need some bottom snare, Mike. Hoping there's some vocals here. We're phrasing that. Hoping there's some good vocals here. Oh, that's harsh. Why did you turn the trouble up on the, on the vocal mic? Oh, hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is seven minutes. There's no way I'm playing the whole seven minutes on this. So let's do a mix review here. Kick is buried, needs a bit more snap. Snare uh, is a little too loud, it has no bottom mic, and there's no snap there either. There's no room mics on the drums. We need room mics, we need to hear a little bit of air there. Right now, they're very, very, very dry. And uh, the vocal, it sounds like somebody just cranked the 10K on them. They're extremely harsh to listen to. You can boost a little bit 
of tra- top end on your vocal mic, but you have to balance that with a DS. And um, that'll help out a lot, but this is really, really hard to listen to. Because the the this sounds like it's all top end. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to skip ahead a bit because I'm not listening to this seven, for seven minutes. So. Toms are buried. Again, go see my video, How to Record Heavy Drums. That will help out a lot. And somebody was rec- rec- requesting I do a uh, shootout for three different sets of drum mics and hear all that sounds. That sounds like a great idea. I definitely have the hardware I can make that happen. Welcome to the second from a sanitary Mac. Okay, Kekistani Outlaw says the vocalist singing through a mahogany sanitary napkin. At least he's got some tone wood in there somewhere. That definitely helps. What the fuck did Zeppelin use? They probably used like two U-47s, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like a crowbar, but made out of, uh, you know, tissue paper, not fucking metal. So that's, unfortunately, there's no bottom end and there's no bottom end in the vocal. So that leads me to believe that you probably mixed that on headphones. Uh, you want to go check out the Deer VR system and some head Sennheisers. That'll probably help out a huge amount. Okay, last one. We've got Young Volcanoes with Talk Me Down. I want to make sure we got everything in here. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. And then that's going to be it. So it's a full video. Looks like uh, somebody actually put some uh, put some time into this. Let's take a look see what we get here. Ooh. Wide angle. I do not like the snare at all. Take care, Tony S. Okay, so just guitar and drums, okay. And auto tune, of course. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of auto tune. Okay, Melodyne, same fucking thing. Teenage after 30. Ouch. Accurate though, but ouch. This isn't a boy band. There's only two guys. This is a boy duo. Yeah, those are completely programmed drums. You're not fooling anybody with having a drummer mime it in the in the video because it's not working. Can't say I'm a fan of the auto tune either. There. Um, Michael Mitchell, sorry. Guitar sounds nice. I like a little bit more snap on the bass guitar, a little more definition, because that's what's going to give the whole thing depth. I really hate the fucking auto tune, though. I mean, like, yeah, in the 90s when auto tune first came out, I can understand it was kind of a bit of a novelty, and that was fine, but now, come on. Somebody says it's radio ready. Yeah, sure. If like your radio station's easy listening.
Not a half bad video, but unfortunately, you know, the song, a little poppy for my taste. Um, like I said, the first thing I'd say is just get rid of the fucking uh, auto-tune. Just needs a bit more bottom end on the kick. And I don't really care for the snare sample you're using. It's very, very artificial sounding. I like my shit a little bit more rock and roll as well, but there we go. All right. Holy shit. There's still 243 you guys of you guys in here. Holy crap. This is a very fun uh, way to spend the morning, but unfortunately, I got to go get some breakfast because it's like 1239 right now. Anyway, I uh, just want to say to each and every one of you guys, thanks so much for coming out and thanks for uh, making a donation and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully, you found some of the feedback helpful. It's great not only to get feedback from me, but feedback from you guys in the stream as well. I love reading your comments and stuff like that. You guys are pretty fucking brutal, so I don't have to be. So that's kind of nice too. Anyway, tonight I'll be back around seven or eight. And if I did not get your track uh, played, please send me an email in the business inquiry section. Go to my about page. And then go to Business Inquiries, name the song that I didn't play, and show me a receipt, and I'll be more than happy to play it tonight. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, hope to see you guys up tonight, about 8 o'clock tonight, maybe a little earlier. We'll see. But this was a lot of fun. Once again, you guys made that happen. You guys made this happen. And that was a pretty smooth stream because, i got to say, this is a superior playback platform. No fucking around with Windows. And, um, you know, i got to say, I was able to take the OS that was on here and just copy everything over, and it fucking worked. So there is that, too, which was really cool. Um, I just basically had to set it up and let it do its thing. I didn't have to install a million fucking things, which was amazing, considering I've got like 800 plugins in my OS, so that that really helps. Uh, so I'd like to thank you guys for making that possible. I mean, like uh, Monday Mix Reviews made that happen. So, um, yeah, just remember, your donations get put back into the show, and um, that allows me to hire an editor and a scripter and all that kind of stuff. You guys are going to love what's coming up tomorrow. It's going to be 11 Reasons Why Modern Metal Vocals Suck. And we had an awful lot of fun with that one, and I do a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't normally be able to do, and that's use some third-party stuff um, and some copyrighted stuff to use as examples. I haven't done that since the fans deserve better. I know half of you guys are going to go, oh, that's what Rick does. And like, no, 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 I was doing this long before Rick came along. So I just, you know, couldn't continue doing it because of the whole copyright thing. You guys are making that possible now. Now I don't have to worry about the videos getting demonetized or copyright claimed because you guys are supporting, supporting me through this. So we can have a little more fun with the show, and I can be a little bit... Uh, more, uh, <clears throat> shall we say, merciless when it comes to uh, a few things. So, yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. We spent a lot of time on it. Uh, really worked on the script on that one, and it's going to be pretty fucking cool. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Anyway, thanks for, so much for uh, coming by today, and I hope to see you up tonight. And until that next time, uh, yeah, as always, praise Crom and cr